welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That is me, I am Johnny Chiodini, and today we are playing Stardew Valley, but we're not playing Stardew Valley like a normal person, we're playing Stardew Valley like a complete misanthrope, which is to say, I am I'm just farming. Uh, I'll occasionally grumble into town to buy seeds, um, and do just the bare minimum that the game asked me to do. I'll go to the blacksmith, I'll go get seeds, I'll go buy some chickens... Anything I need to do to enhance the farm, done. Meeting people, glad handing, doing their quests, absolutely out of the question. Not doing it, don't even ask. But wait, Johnny, I hear you cry. I thought you only play Stardew Valley like this when you're extremely depressed. Correct, let's get into it. So, um, Bram. Bram? Sure, Bram. Uh, name. Da, da, da. You know the music, you love the music. Let me know if it's too loud. That should be all right for now. Da, 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 farm name. Favorite thing. Napping. Farm name. Skeleton farm. Skeleton farm farm is what it's called. Uh, here's me. Let's randomize. Not randomize. Paler skin possible, because let's not kid ourselves here. I lack a tan. That looks like my hair. Where? How do I beard? Animal preference. Dog. Oh yeah. Didn't realize there are different dogs these days. Um. Shirt. What looks? Ugh. There was one with a skull on it, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, sure, that's me-ish. Pants, yes please. Wow! Is that meant to be a massive skirt? I'm not sure. I got two, um... What do you call them? Super Chats. Been a while. Uh, Ducks piloting a mech duck has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, glad you're back and hope you're feeling better. Can't wait to see you at MCM London. Been four years since my last Comic Con. It was bad chair day. Oh, goodness me, bad chair day was quite a day, wasn't it? Uh, this... Uh, not to give anything away, but this, this, uh, 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 blah, 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 this, this MCM's, um, uh, oh yeah, here's Beards, thanks, Cookie Cat 94 uh, this, it's gonna be the Halloween Oxventure live at MCM at the end of the month, so I'm looking for, I can't really see the beard, let me change the hat, can we do a bigger beard, that looks like a slightly bigger beard, doesn't it? Uh, no, don't change that. Put your hair back. Uh, yeah, the Oxventure this year is going to be uh, bananas, I think. I think it's fair to say. I've got dark brown hair. I've got blue eyes, but that's a bit creepy, so we'll just keep them brown. Uh, pants colour. Oh, I can change my pants colour, can I? Black. Black trousers, please. Black everything. Uh, what farm do we want? Riverland farm. Fish are more common here than usual. No, can't be asked with that. Forest farm. Ooh, standard farm or forest farm? Don't really want a wilderness. Oh, four corners farm, beach farm. Let's go forest farm so we can cut down loads of trees. Um, anyway, um, t um, wow, brain. Really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to MCM. It's going to be good fun. Um, uh, I'm going to be there on the Friday doing a... a a panel of it's meant to be like the top UK names in tabletop role playing games. Um, it's being DM'd by Mark Humes of High Rollers. It's being organised by Dicebreaker. So I'm going to be playing on the Friday and then Saturday DMing for the Ox Venture. It should be fun. But thank you very much for the superb chat. Wraith Fines has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, glad you're back. I had COVID for the third time over the last couple of weeks and watched your old videos for comfort. Thanks for being you. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm sorry to hear about the COVID. That's rubbish. Um, it is definitely definitely um doing the rounds I, i'm gonna say again it's it's never really gone away has it but um yeah it definitely seems to be a lot of people are getting it which is a kind of standard at this time of year but so it goes right i've got three more super chats to zip through and then we're just going to get into this um edward horseman has done a super chat saying developer developed a cold and received the news that the job i was hoping to get didn't want to take me despite all this actually doing fine so here's some money to one of the nicest people i know on the internet um, I'm sorry to hear about the cold and not landing the job, but I'm glad you're doing fine. Like, it's just another thing that, you know, like bumps happen 
don't know. And, um, you know, it's... Um, yeah, I like. I'm. I'm sorry, things haven't gone your way, but I hope you are doing all right. Um, yeah, Slan has done a super chat saying, just wanted to stop in and say hi to you and all my scally pals before catching work. Uh, before starting work, right? <laughs> starting work, rather catch up on VOD with a purple heart. Hello, Yaslana. Um, it's nice to see you. I will see you in VOD Squad. In fact, if you're watching this on VOD Squad, hi, welcome back. Um, thank you very much for the super chat, and I hope work was lovely. Uh, Yanos 606 has done a super chat saying afternoon Johnny and LSPs just dropping popping in with pig tax before returning to the VOD dungeon also Johnny have you come across the Lamplighters League looks like a bit of you much love um I haven't actually uh started it yet but yes I'm aware of the Lamplighters League it's kind of an XCOM-esque game isn't it uh, and I like those so I will probably check it out so oh, that's too bright so I'm just adjusting the light levels there um uh, Curry on Malay, I'm on Super Chat saying, nice to have this stream, as I've just gotten over COVID again and I'm still dealing with lingering fatigue and body aches. The fatigue is absolutely the bit that knocked me out the most when I had COVID. It is really, really rubbish. So uh, I hope it eases up soon and do continue to rest up because, yeah, it's no joke. So, um, yeah. Candy Scorn says, are we calling it Skeleton Farm Farm? We are, yes. Yeah, we're calling it Skeleton Farm Farm. I'm aware of it. It's deliberate. That's what we're doing now. Uh, Etta Brink has done a super chat saying, Hello there, lovely person. No, not to put any pressure on you, but you helped me kill the bad, mo bad, bad mood after failing an exam. I mean, you'll do it anyway, you're you. Have a nice pint on me, and yes, best way of playing Stardew Valley. Um, I'm sorry about the exam. That sounds rubbish, but also exams are just shit across the board, you know? And it's like, it's not, you shouldn't take it as a personal reflection if you haven't done well in an exam, especially since not everyone learns in the same way. Like, the entire school system in the UK is set up to teach people how to pass exams. It's not You're not getting appreciable life skills, really. There's knowledge that you can carry through, sure, but mostly you're just learning how to pass an exam. Um, and, you know, I think it unfairly punishes people who don't learn in that way and don't... Or maybe don't perform well under timed pressure or, like, their memory skills aren't, you know, like... Like, obscene or they don't... You know, cramming doesn't really work for them. Um, so yeah, do not worry. I am here to kill the bad, bad mood. Uh, thank you very much for <laughs> the money for a pint. That's a really generous super chat. I really appreciate it. Talking of generous super chats, Brendan Hart's done a big old super chat saying, Hey Johnny and Skellies, glad you're back. Johnny, hugs to all and double hugs for those having a somewhat okay or worse bad day. Um, thank you very much, Brendan. That is very, very kind of you. And yeah, lots of love to anyone who is struggling at the minute, which feels like 99% of the people I know. Um... I mean, it's it's a cruel world out there, and everything's a lot at the minute, but yeah, lots of love to anyone who's not feeling it, including Freya, who's on a super chat saying, when depression's kicking my bum, I fire up Uncharted 2 with unlimited ammo on one-shot kills, and have what I like to call fun with grenades. Take this money in lieu of hugs. Missed your beardy face. That sounds very cathartic, Freya. Um, I've done things like that in the past with video games, where I'm like, right, this is a game I know so well that no one's going to be able to stop me absolutely rinsing them. It's just very relaxing. Uh, Ducks Piloting and McDuck has done a super chat saying, also, after playing Lies of P, I want a Johnny Aoife playthrough. Uh, Aoife is so fantastically busy at the moment, preparing to launch what I think could be one of like the biggest new tabletop actual play series going. Um, if you're not aware of this, it's a Kickstarter launching very soon. Uh, Aoife's just casually going to be playing D&D uh, &D with a whole host of people, including... Uh, the voice of Geralt of Rivia, and uh, Harry McIntyre is 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 DMing, uh, who is the voice of Noah in the latest Fire Emblem. Like it looks like a really choice um, actual play. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, it does mean, that unfortunately, me and Eva sitting down and playing through an entire Souls alike is unlikely. But I'm gonna try Lies of P, and we'll see if I'll stream it. But um, right, Josh Pierini. Uh, otherwise known as Abad That Rolls Ones, has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, we'll also need to be part of VOD Squad, but looking forward to catching this later. Thanks for being awesome and have a great stream. Thank you, Josh. That's very kind of you. And uh, can totally, uh, totally appreciate being a Bard That Rolls Ones, because that is what my Baldur's Gate character excels at doing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with Baldur's Gate, but it has made me realise, I think in D&D, I would quite like to play a cleric in a campaign. They seem just like the kind of thing that I would like to like to play uh, but anyway less about that more about my inherited farm 
Ronnie says, hi, this is Ronnie from bed instead of work because in the year of our Lord 2023, I have COVID. Warm non-hugs to all. Yeah, it's definitely doing the rounds. And for my very special grandson, sure. In fairness, I wasn't out when my grandfather passed. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay. Oh, okay. oh God, I forgot you got to prize it from his hand. Lou Jones says, flat bed, flat bed, all in, all in caps. Uh, Revka has done a super sticker of uh, the pair. It's a, it's a pair that, um, well, it, it's a pair, so it's rounder at the bottom and smaller on the top. Um, there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I should have skipped the fucking intro, shouldn't I? And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Um, there's, there's a pair and it's like blowing, oh, it's blowing kisses and little hearts pop out. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> 20 years later. God, I forgot. Oh, I used to work for Joja. I forgot about this bit. Terminated. Jesus. Life's better with Georgia. Selena Steele has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, sorry I missed a few streams. That's alright, so did I. Uh, I should be able to watch more now. I'm, op I'm now openly out in my university as trans thanks to your channel and general confidence. Please carry on making this brilliant content. Congratulations, Selena. That is A, wonderful, and B, I think like a, a huge step to take, especially in, in the current climate, which is shithouse. Um, I hope people have been nothing but like wonderfully supportive to you um and uh if they aren't being wonderfully supportive fuck them you don't need them that's the nice thing about university you can choose who you uh you spend your time with so yeah lots and lots of love to you um and uh yeah it's it's nice to be back and it's nice to see you again i hope you're doing really well dear johnny if you're reading this you must be in dire need of a change the same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Skeleton Farm Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, but that's the name of the game. Um, on the southern coast, it's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure. Will do. Here comes the bus. 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 Game bus. Bilosaurus says Lewis can do one. Is Lewis the mayor? Because I've got strong opinions about the fucking mayor. 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 Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, Welcome back. Needed a chill stream after my PC finally died on me. Oh, no. My cat is very confused because you're on a different screen today. No pun. Um, I'm sorry to hear it. Um, I hope there is chance to re resurrect your PC or that you manage to... Ah! You manage to um, sort something out very soon. Ah, yes. Lewis is the mayor. There we go. Um, hello, you must be Johnny. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Overreaching already, frankly, Lewis. <laughs> Bally Wrongleg says, Night Mayor. Yeah, he is. He's the worst. Oh, hey, I'm the mayor. It's my job to creep onto your property every night and take everything that's in this box and sell it. It's fucking weird. Stop prowling around my house. Ugh. <laughs> right, the farm's right over here if you'll follow me. All right. So, if you're not familiar with me describing the way I play Stardew Valley before, or how I made the rest of the Eurogamer team play it when I was on Eurogamer, I will. This is Skeleton Farm Farm. Such a good name. Basically, nice switch says all in caps. Sell your own shit, then, Johnny. I will. Oh no, wait. Do you have to go in and manually do that? I thought the only way you could sell things was to sell them from the crate. It Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'll use the box, but I'm not happy about the mayor, alright? Doesn't make me a hypocrite? Probably. Anyway, um, how do I play Stardew Valley? I basically, I just keep going until my stamina bar is low and then I go to bed. It doesn't matter if it's 11am, I will sleep through to the next day, get up, and, 
um, and just just do it all again. It's 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 full blown depression mode farming. It's great. It's really liberating. Anyway, this is skeleton farm farm. Cur yeah, it looks like shit. I'm very upset about it. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. All right. With a little dedication, you'll have cleaned it up in no time. All right. Also, I know that I can eat stuff to increase my stamina. If I've got stuff on me, I'll eat it. If not, I just go to bed. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. So, I'm, we're playing Stardew Valley fast and loose and rudely. I just want everyone to get on board with that. Uh, Lance Roberts has done a super chat saying, Hello, stream with my wife for the first time tonight. Any tips of someone that does not do well with slash in front of people in any form or fashion? Um, is, if it's a video game stream, just like talking about the game or reacting to the game is, is always a really good fallback. Um, you don't always have to talk about, you know, have like a topic of conversation. You can always just be like, what are we doing now in the game? Um, and just consider that your baseline. Um, if it's not a, a gaming stream um, and you are doing an activity, just just talk about that. You can always just narrate what you're doing as an easy way to fill the silence. And also, don't be too afraid afraid to don't be too afraid to silence. Don't be afraid of silence. Silence is is scary when you're streaming. So you're like, oh gosh, I should be saying things. But also, it's fine to not say things for a while. Um, here we are, your new home. Ah, fucking. Ah, the new farmer, says Lewis, popping out of my home. <sighs> Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Hey, Lewis, go fuck yourself. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Great. Well, I look forward to meeting as few of them as possible. I've already, I've mentioned this several times, but on my own, on my Switch save of Stardew Valley, I'm, I'm like towards the end of year three, and there's one person I still haven't met. Really fucking proud of that one, actually. Uh, no switch says, also you can just start singing the sound of silence at any point. Streaming is great. <laughs> it's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, buy a tally, Lewis. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Shady, but fine. <laughs> Rustic? That's one way to put it. All right, Robin. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Jesus Christ. It's been derelict for over a generation. Rude! Yes, rude! Fucking Lewis. Fucking Robin. Don't listen to her, Johnny. She's trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, yeah, she's mortified by that. Hermph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Get to bed! Tomorrow you ought to explore the town and introduce yourself. <laughs> the townspeople would appreciate that. Yeah, sure, I'm sure they fucking will, Lewis. I'm introducing myself to these weeds and that tree. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. You piece of shit. Also, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. He just straight up admits to being a prowler. Well, good luck. Did you see that? He was like, oh, by the way, I'm going to sneak onto your property and look in that box later. Anyway, goodbye! <laughs> nice which says it's sad because you'd bloody love Shane. Mm, maybe. Right, here we go. I've actually managed to make Will more than I've managed to make myself. At least inside profile, I think. Anyway. Oh! No, we probably... Ah, uh, yes, some seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Oh, I would like Shane. Okay. Right. Aiden24 has done a super chat saying, I've only ever played this game with my sisters, and all I do is fish, so it'll be interesting to see how the game is supposed to be played. Oh, sorry, Adain. Not, not Aiden. Uh, Adain24... You're not going to see the game played properly today. I can promise you that. Um, but hopefully I can promise you an entertaining stream. So, right. Th 
what we're going to do is, what I like to do is I like to farm here, out in front. Uh, chicken coop tends to go here. It's just where I like to put it. It's just a good place for it, I think. Although, oh, need something better to hack up that log. We'll deal with that when we when we get to it, eh? Um, oops. No, click there. I normally play on controller, but uh, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. Isn't that fascinating for everyone? <laughs> anyway, maybe we'll lay down some seeds later. Might dig out a keyboard uh, controller for this, maybe. Get fucked, small tree. Yeah. We're just going to start, basically, where even is my stamina bar? Oh, there it is, it's in the bottom right. Journal, getting started. If you want to become, yeah, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. <clears throat> Two out of 28 people greeted. Place your bets now as to how low that number's going to be by the end. How many people am I going to have to meet out of necessity? Place your bets. Nice, which says, I give it 20 minutes before Johnny starts physically punching a, a tree down. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway, right, we're gonna we're gonna hack up things until I get exhausted, and then we're going straight to bed. And then we're getting up tomorrow, and we're doing it all again. What do we do on uh, festival days? We get up, water the plants, and we fuck off back to bed is what we do. can actually feel some of the tension leaving my body, which is quite nice. Right. Scythe the way some of this shit. We got 15 seeds and a watering can. Now we're playing Stardew Valley. Right. Sorry if you can hear uh, some construction work happening in the background, but there's some construction work happening nearby, which is frankly very inconsiderate. But people need homes, I guess. I've got mine here. As you can see, it's crusty. Nice which says I like to give Haley rocks because she's an awful character. I will occasionally go around and just hand people weeds. Boom. Another thing about, about uh, Stardew Valley for me, I always do all my crops by hand. Doesn't matter how many there are. I don't build sprinklers. I just don't do it. If it takes half my day, it takes half my day. Oh, hang on a minute. We've also got a random seed, which we're going to plant there. We've actually already watered that soil, but let's do it again just for shits and grins. Right, we're nearly exhausted, but what we're going to do is try and cut down a tree. Some guy sitting down has done a super chat saying, just because I missed you and also for telling Lewis to go fuck himself. Thank you very much, some guy sitting down. I hope you're enjoying a lovely sit. Um, I hope all is well with you. Oh, no, I'm really tired. Go to bed! That's it. Bang. Day one. It's 12.20 p.m. We're going to bed. No, no, we're going to bed because we're exhausted. Bobby is on a super chat saying, Sorry to hear you've been poorly and hope you're starting to feel better. Never played this, but looking forward to introvert mode. Introvert mode means go to sleep for the night at 20 past 12. Boom! Done. Stephanie says, have to go back to work. We'll watch later. Um, take care, Stephanie. I hope uh, work goes okay. Uh, weather report. So, la, la. Weather is going to rain all day tomorrow. Great. That means I don't have to water my plants. Spirits are happy today, apparently. Great. Um, uh, yeah, I, uh, hope goes all right. Hope goes work all right. <laughs> hope works okay. And uh, I will catch you on VOD. Uh, uh, 
Wait, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't say you're going to work, Bobby. That was, that was Stephanie. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're looking forward to introvert mode. Welcome to introvert mode. It, it looks and sounds like this. The Emmy adventure says here, running on four hours sleep. That's not enough sleep, Emmy. I can just about get by on five, but four is not good. Uh, we're playing Stardew Valley. Like an absolute misanthrope. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. It's Willy. Hi, right, Willy. I'll, I'll go see you eventually. I'll be honest, I don't really like fishing in Stardew Valley, so... Maybe is the answer to that. Now, this is too... I can't hack this up, can I? Your axe isn't strong enough to break this log. That's right. All right, well, let's start deforesting in general. Alex Tannenbaum has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, you're still the best. Hope you're having a great week. My LGBTQIA youth centre officially opens this Monday with almost 500 registrants. Congratulations. Holy shit. That's a lot of registrants for something that's not even open yet. Uh, which shows just how, you know, wanted and needed um, that centre is in your area. That's fucking fantastic news. Congratulations. I hope, um, I hope the launch goes tremendously well um i'm sure it's going to mean a hell of a lot to a lot of people that's fantastic news uh lance roberts has done a super chat saying uh had to go back and re-listen to what you said at work on an off day mentoring a group thank you as always you just generally are amazing um thank you i'm sorry uh, uh oh at work on an off day mentoring a group uh well that sounds tedious I mean, I'm sure the mentoring is is rewarding and everything, but also, oh, it's meant to be an off day. Um, but thank you very much for the super chat. Um, I hope you have a lovely time a watching. Uh, Nadia G has done a super chat. This is your fifth ever super chat, Nadia G, on a live stream. Did you know that? YouTube just told me and asked me to celebrate it. So let's all celebrate that. Cheers for and indeed to Nadia G who says, playing a low-key uh, low antisocial Stardew run feels cathartic right now after a full shift of being misgendered. Oh, fucking hell. Contemplating becoming a hermit. Anyway, lots of love to you and all the lovely Skelly pals. I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds fucking tedious. Being misgendered for an entire shift does not sound like a good time. But um, I'm glad that uh, this this stream has been well-timed. 10.10am um, 10, 10 and we're ready for bed. Fantastic. Listen, I know some of you are going to be like, this is a very inefficient way of playing Stardew Valley. Yes. Yes, it is. But honestly, the role-playing someone who just gets out of bed until they're tired and goes back to bed thing is very important to me. <laughs> I just, I can't explain it. Depression, Depression Stardew Valley just looks like this for me. So it's what we're doing. I'm going to hack down some weeds because that's easy. We'll get some of this wood on the go. You know what we'll do? You know what we could do with? It's a bit more capital. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make the we're gonna make the mayor buy all of that shit. And a lump of coal even. Great. Have fun with that, Lewis. Oh, why hasn't Johnny come from Skeleton Farm Farm to meet all of my friends? Shut up and sell my wood. Um, uh, 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 Manta Wraith has done a super chat saying, Johnny's back and no work tomorrow. Have money. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm glad you've not got work tomorrow. That sounds nice. I uh, hope you enjoy this stream in which I play Stardew Valley. Not well or pleasantly. Let's face facts. Cut down these trees, goddammit. Ugh. Oh, well. 11.50 a.m. Half an hour earlier than yesterday's bedtime, but I didn't have to talk to anyone, so that helped. Go to bed! Go sleep for the night. Done. Um, the nice switch says, Paul Lewis is going to have to find a buyer for all that shite, Johnny. Well, it looks like he didn't struggle. I got 360 gold for some fibres. So there we go. 459 gold. I almost doubled my money. You know? Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Sarah, no, wait, hang on. Happy Bob has done a super chat saying, Premensely when I say to. What? Introvert mode is how I inadvertently played the first time I played this. Anyway, Johnny, you're great. Thank you very much, Happy Bob. I hope you're doing all right. Um, 
And I look forward to yelling, go to bed at you when you need to go to bed. Look, it's raining, so I don't even have to water my crops. Absolutely phenomenal. Just fantastic. What I could do with is some seeds. So we may have to go into town and buy some fucking seeds. Or to the beach. Visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. I'm not that fond of fishing in Stardew Valley, so we're gonna we're gonna put that off for a bit. What we are gonna do is take some of these things that aren't ours. Uh, because we'll sell them. Ooh, a leak. Great. Um, oh, I'm definitely going to butcher this name. Is it Sonia Taverner? Says, do you like foraging, Johnny? I actually, I, I'm not good at it, but I, um, I do enjoy foraging for mushrooms. My, um, my partner is uh, a dedicated mycologist and amongst other things because they are just phenomenally talented uh, so they have taught me a lot about mushrooms um, and basically in mushroom season I will spot them and they will identify them we make a great team um, and we found edible ones before like uh, porcini and uh, like chicken of the woods and stuff like that egg festival on the 13th is it oh Vincent's birthday great flower dance is coming up no idea who Vincent is probably not going to talk to him Closed on Wednesdays. Of course it's closed on Wednesdays. Fuck you, Pierre. Right, let's go get this... Let's go get this fucking... Beach quest out of the way, shall we? Let's just go talk to a man. Get a... Ugh, a villager. Run. Get a rod and then piss off. We'll do some fishing later until we're tired. Oh, I said your name perfectly. Hooray! Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, let's see. I'm behind on... Um, Super Chat. Sarah Jane Graham has done a Super Chat saying, I have to admit, hearing you shout, go to bed, brought a haze of nostalgia upon me. With lump in throat, I say, bring on the whimsy and buy yourself a beer. Brackets in-game. Oh, they're expensive in-game, though. I forgot. We got into so much trouble buying beer in Stardew Valley. Ahoy there, son. Yeah, all right, Willie. Just fork over the rod and I'll be on my way. Uh, thank you very much for the Super Chat. Super Chat Sarah Jane Graham. That is very kind of you. And I'm glad to have brought a happy note of nostalgia back to you and your throat. That sounded much more threatening than I meant for it to. Laura Ann is on a Super Chat saying, Token of appreciation from my dogs, who like that your streamers cause me to sit down and cuddle them while I watch. Ah, oh, tremendous. I'm very happy to be of assistance, Laura Ann's dogs, and also Laura Ann. I mean, cuddling your dogs is never a bad decision, is it? Um, I had a nice walk with Watson today. She had to wear the raincoat, which she doesn't love. But, um, you know what, she was happy enough just to be out on a walk and she sort of chased after the ball and was just kind of toddling around in the woods. So it was quite, it was pleasant. Um, Mithril has done their, uh, is their fifth ever Super Chat on a live stream. We're celebrating that. Uh, it's the blood pear. What a way to celebrate. It is, uh, if you imagine, I described a pear to you earlier, a piece of fruit, larger on the bottom than it is on the top. Arms, legs, face, sports headband, sports shoes. Not normal characteristics for a pair, but listen, we roll with it. Um, it also has a mug in its hand. I think actually someone looked it up and the pair is canonically uh, uh, male, so uh, in his hand. Um, and uh, he keeps sort of showing it to the camera, like, way, And it's full of a viscous red fluid. Um, which, can you make tomato soup in Stardew Valley? You probably can. Could be Stardew Valley tomato soup for all I know. Other hypotheses are, of course, welcome. Not sure what it is. Uh, did another dragon has done a super chat saying, left blank on purpose, realise this is a lie now. A terrible lie. How dare you, Danilla Dragon. Thank you very much for the super chat. That's very, very kind of you. Um, Talman has done a super chat saying, Blinks looks up from Baldur's Gate. Hi, Johnny. Glad to see you back. Now to start another BG3 playthrough. Um, hi. Uh, another... Does that mean you've already completed it twice? If so, bloody hell, that's quite impressive. I, um... How far am I in? I'm in Act 2. Uh, at, no spoilers, but the big tower. Um, and I haven't really tackled it yet. So there we go. Um, Boo Must Die is on Super Chat saying, I feel like I could teach a seminar on Stardew Valley. What games do you think would be best suited to, a, to do a seminar on? What, uh, what games do you think you would be best suited to do a seminar on? Sorry, your beloved Seattle Mariners didn't make the playoffs. That's all right. Aiden says definitely not my fifth Super Chat, which is a Super Chat. I don't know what number Super Chat it is from Aiden, but thank you, Aiden. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, the Mar it was close with the Mariners, but um, 
damn those rangers they put us to bed but that's all right because my friend who supports the tigers and my friend support who supports the cubs uh like neither of them got into the playoffs either so we've all adopted the phillies and we're having a very nice time watching that um so yeah uh it's there's still plenty of baseball left to go and then there's it'll be a whole new season in the spring which I'm, I'm looking forward to it'll be my first full season following it as a as a major league baseball fan uh whereas what games i would be best suited to do a seminar on fuck um What games do I know really bloody well? Hmm. I could do a seminar on Animal Crossing, New Horizons, but that would be more sort of just like a rant. Um. Oh. Lucy Mama says you cannot make tomato soup in Stardew Valley, which is pretty disappointing to me. You can make cranberry sauce, which I guess is kind of similar. It's viscous, yeah. I think so. Hannah Axelson says Fallen London for me. Yeah, yeah. That's a great game. It's very, very good. Uh, Willie's, on, well, Willie's sold some fish. He's got a new rod, which means I can have his old rod, which is actually very nice of him. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Don't count on it, Willie. Don't count on it. I'd have to talk to you to do that. Thanks for the rod, though. Games I could do a seminar on. Dead Cells, definitely. Um Halo Infinite and Confirmation Bias. Because people hate that game. And I think it's just very good, and I think that's fine. So there we go. Anyway, I've got a bamboo pole now. Um There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. Come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it sells, if it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> heh. That's what my old papa used to say anyway. Fish shouldn't smell strongly because then it will be bad. Uh, Joe Humbert has done a super chat saying, happy to have another video from you. Glad you are in a better mindset. Uh, always take as much time as you need to get sorted when life is going sideways. The last bit is also for all skellies. It's good and important advice. Um, yeah, take your time when you need it for your mental health. Um, and don't, yeah, just don't overdo it. I'm not the best at taking that advice, I'll be perfectly honest with you, but um, yeah, it is nonetheless very good advice. Uh, yeah, oh. Dig up some clams or something. Can you do that here? It doesn't matter. Um, Cat M is on a super chat saying, glad you're back, Johnny, and hope you're feeling better. A calm stream while I do some crafts is just what I need to get over a few stressful weeks. Have some money for being great. Thank you, Cat M. Um, that is very generous of you, especially at a time where I do not believe that I am. But that is beside the point. Um, I, uh, I'm sorry that you've had a few stressful weeks. It feels like a lot of people are kind of going through it at the minute. There was a mushroom back there. Um, it feels like quite a, there's a mushroom right there. It feels like, yeah, quite a few people are, are really going through it at the moment. So... Um, I hope the crafts serve you very, very well and you have a very nice time doing them. Um, it's 9.40 a.m. Not in swung at all yet. I can't be asked to remember how to get back up there, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I hope the crafts go well. Thank you very much for the super chat and for the money. Nice where it says, like, I would do an absolutely banging seminar on FFX entirely focused on the leg legitimacy of the laughing scene. Ha! 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 Yeah. So the best best um um impersonation I can I can think to do of uh whatever his name is. What are you? Oh you can't you can't cut those bushes down, can you? Bollocks. Well I tried. Right. Wear ourselves out. Emma Benton says, Oh my god, did you pick did you also pick the forest farm? It's my favourite. I did. I like it very much. Flat pack has done a super chat saying it feels like I only ever catch these streams when I'm home due to uncomfortable circumstances. Thank you for being a comforting presence. I'm sorry to hear that you're having uh, some unfortunate circumstances at the minute. That sucks. Um but I'm you know, uh, oh, you can on this farm once you upgrade the axe. Thank you, Emma. Um, I hope the circumstances improve for you very soon. If 
fuck it, I'll sell every, I'll sell anything. I don't give a shit. Um, and I'm glad that I can be here to just generally tit about uh, on screen while uh, while you wait for things to improve. Thank you very much for the super chat. Get fucked, tree. The oars rock. Right. What we're going to do... Just going to start clearing more of this. Oops. So what we... Basically... You know the drill. We're going to start farming. Here. A lot. Oh, is that a seed? Ah, mixed seeds. We're going to grow some random waff. Um, and then eventually we'll get into all the other stuff, like chickens. Look at all those chickens, etc., etc. Um, fucking hell. Good luck or a quick death is just an absolutely massive super chat um, with no message attached. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you. Good luck or a quick death. Um, that is obscenely generous. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, John Rice has done a super chat saying, Hi, Johnny. I've had depression as long as I can remember. I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you helped with that. You are an absolute light. Thank you, John. I'm sorry to hear about the... Um, the depression, right there with you, fist bump. Um, uh, and I hope you're having more good days than bad. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for the super chat and the kind words. Brick wall mister. <laughs> I'm a brick wall mister. Brick wall mister's done a super chat with no message attached. I don't know if that was um, uh, deliberate or accidental if it was indeed accidental just uh, let me know what you wanted to say and I will read it out with all the appropriate fanfare um, I'm actually going to stop selling wood or so much wood oh no I'm going to sell it all apparently no I'm not uh, there we go you right clicked on you to sell stuff -la 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 -la. sell some wood then we can buy loads of seeds sold all this time oh well um so that tomorrow we can buy lo yeah lots of things god damn it it's f sentences are just difficult to say out loud a lot of the time dogs of war said johnny did you play any more chance of senna no i i haven't sat at this desk for more than a couple of hours in weeks um i've played a little bit of boulder's gate and apart from that i haven't really played anything Cromp. Hey, look, look, you're starting to, starting to look a little bit more um, clean, clear, deforested, upsetting. What is that? Yeah, not going to grow a tree on my fucking land. Cut you down before you even begin. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, the cave. Forgot about the cave. Wow. Hello, cave. Ah, oh, Addy, are you okay is in chat? Hello, Addy. I hope you're doing really well. Addy says, hey, legends. You're a legend. Oh, someone's really enjoying hitting something metal with something metal out the window. Hey, that's good fun. Sidebar. I'm sorry, but fuck this continuing heat. Fuck it so much. I'm so sick of it being summery. I just hate it. I can't deal with it. Okay, Galaxia says, now that's a fine looking forest farm foundation right there. Thank you. That was a fun sentence to say. Lojo says, Johnny, have you fired up Dave the Diver lately? Not yet. Uh, I know there's been a massive update, so I'm quite excited. But I've not really been playing much lately. Uh, or indeed doing much of anything lately. So uh, that is to come. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Addy says, good news, Johnny. It's 13 degrees from next week. Thank fuck. Nice, which says, how are up here, Johnny? It's absolutely chuffing freezing. I genuinely fucking love to. <laughs> right, anyway. My character's tired. Oh, I need to plant some seeds. Hold on. Always time to plant a seed. Wait. 
Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Do with that what you will. Whatever. Right. Do we have a storage box? We don't. We have to craft those or something. I can't fucking remember. Why can't I remember anything about this game? Probably because I mostly play this when I'm really depressed and therefore my, uh, my, um, short-term memory goes to shit. How about that? Uh, well, I'll get to that bit when I get to it. Wait a minute. Crafting. There we go. I have a chest. I need 50 wood. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot how much wood it takes. Inventory. Skeleton farm farm. It's going great. Social? Not very. Exit game options. No. Right. Go to bed. Go to sleep tonight. 6, 10 p.m. A respectable bedtime. Level 1 foraging. New crafting recipe. Wild seeds. Sp. New crafting recipe. Field snack. Trees sometimes drop seeds. That's great. Fucking hell, that turnip was worth a lot of money. That leak, sorry. Oh, yeah, and also there was a daffodil and some dandelions. All right, foraging, good money. Okie dokie. Sordros Sword the Palindrome says, Hello all, sorry I joined late. Johnny, any plans for Friday the 13th? Yes. Um, I have been playing a campaign of Arkham Horror with one of my close friends and also two of my neighbours, and we have one session left, and it's happening on Friday. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I guess it has to be today because you're not open on fucking Wednesdays, are you, Pierre? Right, we're going to hack down a tree so we can build a storage box to put all of the other things we're going to fucking gather that we can't be asked to cart around in our pockets. How does that sound? Great. Good. Boom. Get in there. And you fishing rod. I'll take you out when I need you. Alright, let's go see Pierre, shall we? <coughs> Spoon of Doom has done a super chat saying, I'm finally seeing a therapist, and I don't think I'd have taken that step if it wasn't for people like you being more open about mental health stuff in public, so thank you for being a cool human. Spoon of Doom, that is an absolutely enormous step, and I think you should be very proud of yourself for taking it. It's not easy to do, um, and you've gone and done it. And there you are also being open about your mental health on the internet. So, like, genuinely, very well done to you. Uh, and I hope it goes, I hope it goes really well. Um, obviously, it's, you know... It's probably going to be challenging, but I don't care about any of these things. Why, how do I? There we go. Help wanted. <laughs> okay. Uh, Willie wants a daffodil, does he? All right. Good luck with that, Willie. Um, yeah, like genuinely congratulations. I'm sure it's going to be, you know, intense and there'll be good days and bad days, but like really good work on. Um... It's locked. Oh, it's open at 9 a.m., is it? Fucking Pierre. Fuck you, Pierre. Let's go up here and forage. Son of a... Oh, that didn't sound good. One sec. Good news, everyone. Scout just broke one of my favourite glasses next to the bed. That'll teach me for having things near the bed. <laughs> we love her, though, so, you know, what else? Keza T says, How dare Pierre want reasonable working hours? I know, right? Don't worry, everyone. I can get a replacement glass because... Uh, I, it's it's f from a place where uh, I, <laughs> I go a lot. <laughs> right, parsnips. How many bean stars do we want? Let's just do fucking loads of beans. Let's have eight beans. B 
beans are great because they keep producing. And then we can have jazz jazz seeds, and that sounds like hemp. Sugar, wheat flour, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, saplings. I forgot about the saplings. They're brilliant. Yeah, we're going to plant so many fucking fruit trees. Cauliflower seeds. Five of them. Ten parsnip seeds. Five. Right, just fucking loads of seeds. Hi, Pierre. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Bum. Jupiter Mon says, did you steal that glass from a pub, Johnny? No, I didn't. I bought it from a brewery. But it's the brewery where I do gaming nights, so I can go back and get another one. It's fine. Yeah, 122 says, wait, I genuinely thought the sound of broken glass was from the game. No, it wasn't. It was, <laughs> it was from my flat. Okie dokie then. Right, so this is all, well, apart from these mystery ones down here, this is all parsnip. You know what we'll do, actually? Let's have the beans. Oh, beans. Uh, what do we want our beans? We have eight beans. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot. Right, for fuck's sake. Where do we want the beans? Can you just hoy the beans into the normal earth? No, you can't. How do you... Do you need a shovel to remove grass? I can't remember. Don't answer that. I don't care. <laughs> uh, we have a nice time, don't we? Right. Beans. Can. Go. Like this. Whoa. Ah, fuck. I planted the wrong fucking things there, didn't I? All right. Well, that's now where the cauliflowers live. All five of them in a really cat-handed pattern. Tremendous. <sighs> doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Well, what, is the mayor going to come and say rude things about my farm in the dead of night when he shows up of his own accord? Like to see him try. Okay. Let's just plant things. Fuck it. This is my vegetable patch. Really? What vegetables are you growing? Yes. Great. There we go. Look. Order. Not in my garden. Um. Oh, I planted C for cauliflower. That's nice. That's oh, that makes me feel a bit better. And J for potatoes. Oh, I've still not done all the beans. Here comes the best fucking like the best fucking bit of drumming in the game. No, it's not yet. It's about my life. You know what I mean, though. That clack. I think it's coming now. Hang on. Yeah! I'm really enjoying that some of you are so uncomfortable with the way I'm laying out this vegetable patch. I would normally do put a bit more order into things than this, but I'll be honest with you, not fucking much. Because it is the bare minimum when I play Stardew Valley like this. Oops, I missed. Um, separate note, just while we're talking about excellent beats to get down to, I'm really enjoying all of those TikToks of, uh, of people doing the choreographed girly dance to that Slipknot 
track. It's just where they're like, fuck, fuck, fuck me up, and fuck, fuck, but it's very good. Ah, oh, I need more water in my watering can. How about that? Oh, I missed, I missed these, I missed these vegetables, whatever they are. Clap. Clap. All right, what now? Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll hack down more trees and I hope that they drop seeds. Just to add more chaos to my vegetable patch. What I normally do is I have, like, stuff on stalks up here, but I haven't done that, so. Oh, I've got more beans to plant. Look at that. Can I have a row here, or will it obstruct it? I've got a great way of finding out, haven't I? Nah, it'll make, it'll make um, fucking watering a, a bit annoying. I think I remember that much. Don't know. Who's to say? Right. Bum 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 bum. I own the Stardew Valley soundtrack on vinyl, which has accidentally become incredibly val valuable because they only did one pressing of it. There we go. Well, uh, looking pretty tired right now, aren't we? So let's. Uh... Oh, daffodils! Could have sworn Willie wanted one of those. Oh well. Go to bed. Half six. The bedtime's getting later and later. You know. Emma Benton says, I got the board game yet to play it, but I was really excited to get it, lol. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a deep-throated cockerel, isn't it? Wait, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Moving on. Way look, vegetables. Parsnip. Me 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 me. Good lord. I meant that its voice had a bassy tone to it. Cramp Christ. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, Lally Nanny Nanny Nanny. Fuck off, Jojo Mart. Never again. Captain Shiny says deep voiced instead, maybe? Maybe. It's too late now, isn't it? God fucking damn it. Do chickens have a gag reflex? That's what I'd like to know. Can they be sick? Horses can't be sick. Did you know that? It's purely a one-way system. Horses cannot vomit. But they can do lots of other things, like run really fast. And uh, kick people to death. <laughs> Tim, Gar Tim Garvey's done a super chat saying, I've struggled with my mental health for years and can honestly say you and your work help bring light in the dark. Thank you. With a yellow heart emoji, white heart emoji, purple heart emoji, and black heart emoji. Thank you very much. That is very kind. Um... Mental health struggles are shit, aren't they? <laughs> Which is really crap. Right. Right, the mayor can have those parsnips until I learn how to pickle things. Fuck, I love making pickles in this game. Pickle empire, mayonnaise, mayonnaise empire. Just fantastic. Horses can only also only breathe through their noses. I didn't know that, Ottertone. Wow. 
Um, uh, thank you again, Tim Galvey. That's very, very kind. Uh, chickens don't have a gag reflex and chickens don't vomit. There you go. They can get overflow if they ingest too much, says EJ. Dang. Miss Isle has done a super... Miss Isle. What a good username. Miss Isle has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, what a treat to catch you live. Hello. Your streams on VOD help get my hubby and I through late night take through late night care of our twin baby girls. Much love. Oh, I'm glad that I can come in handy during the... during the wee hours. Um, uh, and congrats on the twins. I don't know how long you've had them. It feels like it's never really too late to say congrats on the twins. Uh, unless they're like, you know, 30 or something. But, you know. I'm assuming if you're up late at night taking care of them, they're not. So, uh, congrats on the twins. Um, advancement. Reach level one of craft a scarecrow. Yeah, build a coop. Fuck yes. Robin lives north of town. Right. Coop or barn so I can raise animals. Done. Oh yeah, I got 100... 100 gold for... Okay, right. So we need to start stockpiling wood. That's why I shouldn't have sold all my wood. Stockpiling wood so we can buy a coop. I should probably go see... Probably go see Robin and work out what I need for the coop. Eddie, you okay? Says, have a lovely rest of the stream. All I have to go take care. Take care, Eddie. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. It's always good to see you. PJ Buck. Oh, PJ. PJ. Is that a new profile picture? Looks like it. Uh, it says, uh, the Super Chat says, I'm so excited to see you play this game and listening to your VODs while I prepare to move into my first home. Thanks for the for being excellent vibes always. BNB do crims with the usual heart emojis that are in the colours of the non-binary pride flag. Um, congrats on the new home, PJ. PJ, I hope the um, I hope the the packing and stuff and the prep isn't too stressful. Moving house can be so intensely stressful. Um, but uh, yeah, congrats on the new home. That's fantastic. And uh, I'm glad you're excited to see me play it. I do not play it well. I play it very strangely. But it's how I like to play it. 10.50am. Get in. Go to bed. Bam. Go to sleep for the night? No, actually. Let's go. Let's go see. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Lucas has done it for me. Chicken coop is 4,000 gold, 300 wood, 100 stone. Perfect. Thank you, Lucas. Go to bed. Zuz. All right, new crafting recipe, scarecrow. Oh yeah, we can make a scarecrow. And it's good for the, yeah. Uh-oh, did that noise mean something I ate one of my crops? Then? I can't remember. Anyway, I've got some money now. How much do I need? Thousands. 4,000 gold. All right. <laughs> well, I'm never going to think about that noise the same way again, am I? Right, crafting. How do I make a scarecrow? A coal. Well, I sold the coal, didn't I? And I sold all my fibre. Because I... Oh, no, there's a coal. And there's plenty of fibre. Great. I need more fibre. So my doctor keeps telling me. Ha, 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 ha. It's a bowel joke. I'm not modest. Oh, it'll be nice to play Dave the Diver again soon. I wasn't up to it today. But uh, I know there's that big, big old update. You can catch crabs now. And also in game, etc., etc. Be safe, kids. Aha! It's very useful in this game that swinging the scythe doesn't take up any energy. But I'm sure there are some, like, people from, like, ye olde times who are absolutely fucking livid about it. Being like, I swung a scythe for hours on end, for weeks at a time in harvest season. And let me tell you, it was bloody hard work. You know? 
here you are, just swinging it, swinging it all day like it's nothing. Right, we've crafted a scarecrow. Let's plant the scarecrow. There you go, scarecrow. Right, oh yeah, we're going to water our plants by hand. As is tradition. Do I have to bring my own ore to the um, fucking blacksmith, don't I, to upgrade my stuff? Which means that I have to do it once I've started going down the mines, right? Down the mine. Nice which says, I only make highbrow jokes now, so I'm not going to be baited by that crab comment. Good for you. Glad one of us is, is taking the high road. Dude, 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 dude. Not all bars, you have to smelt them first. That's right. Thanks, Lucas. Oh, look! Seeds! Let's grow some random shit. In a haphazard pattern, because it makes you all very happy. Aimless Banshee says, Cats and rabbits also only breathe through their noses, and when you give an animal CPR, you breathe into their nose instead. I can fucking believe that uh, cats only breathe through their noses. Scout has a weird nostril that whistles, so when she breathes, especially, like, uh, when she's sniffing something, it goes, whee! It's very cute, but, like, when she's really sniffing something, it's probably like, whee! Whee! It's great. Oh, hell yeah. Alex Simpkin has done a super chat saying, Thank you for introducing me to Turnip28 via your painting stream. I just found a Turnip TTRPG that I'll be running at my local board game cafe. That is fantastic news. Um, I hope it goes very bloody well. And you are very welcome. I love Turnip. I think it's a brilliant game. Um, um, what the fuck am I doing in Stardew Valley again? Crafting shit. Do I need to craft anything else? Basic fertilizer. Can't be asked. Right, let's sling this stuff in the chest. I might go buy some more fucking seeds, you know. If Lewis will let me buy them. Not Lewis, whatever his name is. Fucking Pierre. Whatever his fucking name now. Brett Chell has done... Uh, I hope I said that right. Sorry, Brett. Um... So it's a lovely way to start. Lovely start to therapy day. Plan to do a rewatch of your killer frequency stream today for spooky season. Why are the crabs so sleepy? They only sleep in snatches. <laughs> Why are crabs so sleepy? They only sleep in snatches. Very good. Um, I hope therapy goes all right. And hello, hello. I'm uh, I'm glad to be here playing Stardew Valley like a, an absolute animal. Chris Rakowski has done a super chat saying, nice to see the long awaited return to Butts Farm. This is Skeleton Farm Farm, I'll have you know. And unlike Butts Farm, we do not talk to people if we can avoid it. What do you want, Lewis? What an eyesore. You're an eyesore, Lewis. Do, 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 do. Ba, dum, dum, bum. Weekend Minis is on Super Chat saying, morning, morning Johnny, not a joke, horse relevant. The Metis breed of horse buffalo runners was so big, bigger than buffalo, that hunters often had pelvic injuries because of how wide the horses were. Bloody hell. That's a lot. Ooh. Walking like John Wayne, just like me, yeah, yeah. I'm Lewis. Here's the town hall, which I've let fall into disrepair. Can you fix it, newcomer? Fucking. The young. F oh, here we go. Here it comes. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Go fuck yourself, Lewis, you fucking boomer. Listen to me, I sound like an old fool. You do, because you are. Don't turn it into a warehouse. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Well, that sounds like a rational way to move forward. Let's go inside. All right.
What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. I don't know who they are, and I'm not going to find out. Yeah, and I'm not... The weird thing's there. Am I going to find out what they are? No. Kaza T says, Johnny, on your own save, have you found the secret note that leads to Lewis's secret? No. Never. I do not talk to people in Stardew Valley when I play it by myself. I do not explore a farm. And when it's raining, I mine. That's it. I sell mayonnaise, I sell pickles. Oh, I can skip this, apparently. Oh, I can skip this. I don't know. I kind of want to... I want as much ammo to use against Lewis as possible. What's he saying now? Oh, when we spray for blah, blah. Oh, I'm freaking out, look, because I just saw a big green jelly. Cat Emma's done a super chat saying, um... Before the lawnmower, only wealthy people could afford a lawn because they had to have people with very sharp sides to cut the lawn, taking millimetres off at a time. Oh, there you go. Hmm, I can believe it. You're worrying me, Johnny. Oh, fuck yourself, Lewis. Look, I think I need, I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. All right. Apparently, you don't need to talk to anyone to get the secret notes. Yeah, but that's... Ah, still can't be asked. <laughs> oh, whoops. I missed I missed a thing, didn't I? Hold on. One-Eyed Garden Gnome. One-Eyed Garden Gnome did a super sticker. It's of the pair. The pair is um, reclining, sort of leaning up on an elbow with the other arm kind of waving. And there's text that says, How's it going? Normally, the... The pair doesn't yawn when it asks, how's it going? But um, I yawned just then. Sorry about that. Um, it's going okay, One-Eyed Garden Gnome. Um, blah, blah, Lewis, blah, blah. Uh, I'm playing Stardew Valley like a depressed person would. Uh, which is to say that when I'm depressed, I play Stardew Valley like this. Um, I don't talk to people. Uh, and do them favours. I try not to meet them. I just fucking... I just do my own thing and yell abuse at, at, at fictional people on a screen. And it's, it's choice. Anyway, Sloth the Shades is on a super chat saying, Hey, why are we grumpy? Not judging, just extremely keen to join. People are uncultured swine. Uh, chronic illness! <laughs> is, is the answer there. What is this again? How do I fucking... Yeah, how do I look at the actual bullet? I don't care. Why am I looking at the fucking... No, you have to click... No. Why am I looking specifically at the... Swing a scythe at it. Sure, why not? Why am I just repeatedly opening... You know what? No one cares, Johnny. It's least of all you. Um, Seeds for sale. Oh, fuck yourself. I'll buy your seeds, you fucking hatchet, man. Sapling. Oh, yeah, saplings are good, aren't they? Uh, 12 days to produce a large cauliflower. Absolutely not. We want a quick turnover of cash. 32 parsnip seeds, please. Four more bean starters as well. Why not, hey? You've got to spend money to make money. Ugh, people, avoid. Anyway, thank you for the super chat, Sloth of Shades. Oh, I needed to move slightly to the right. Thank you, Lucas. And also, Jukebox345. Come down here, you squirrel bastard. Well, I guess the squirrel died. Right then. Did I water these two? I think I did, but they don't look watered. Uh, oh, we got some planting to do. More planting than we actually have energy for today, I fear. Am I going to fill this hole up? Not really. Oh, I should plant closest, as close to the scarecrow as possible, though, shouldn't I? All right. Okay. Ba-dum, dum, dum, dum. Right, 
Manish Anand has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of a rose. Thank you, Manish. That's very kind of you. Roses are a flower. <laughs> they are known for having thorns. They smell okay. They are used to flavour Turkish delight, which I enjoy, but many people <coughs> do not. <coughs> Excuse me, fucking hell. Oh yeah, more beans. And more seeds. Why don't we do the beans? I forget what the radius of the scarecrow is. Is it like eight? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. If a crow wants a seed, you know what? It can have it. Who am I to stand in their way? Um, Sloth with Shades has done a super chat saying, Oh, right, have another five. <laughs> Thanks, Sloth with Shades. That's very kind of you. Manish and Anderson, another super chat. Super sticker. This one is of a heart. Rose heart. Rose heart. Rose heart. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it comes for you? I don't. I don't know. We're not here to make sense. We're here to plant vegetables, like these beans. Oh, got some clay. How about that? Sorry for the sniffling. Apparently, I'm getting hay fever because it just somehow refuses to fucking die. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Let's water the scarecrow. Don't want him to feel left out. There you go, young man. Have a drink. Just because I know it will be bothering Emma, I am going to plant one seed here and water it. And then get to bed! 5.20pm. <laughs> God damn it. What's wrong with me? Positively burning the midnight oil. Go sleep for the night? Yeah, go to bed. Rude? I've plugged the, the, plugged the gap, Emma. Nips. Good. Right, laying this stuff in there. How much wood have we got? 139, not nearly enough. So. Um, let's just keep bloody planting. We've got to do eight. Two, three. Fuck's sake, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that does not work like it does when you're using a controller. All right, let's water all this shit and then start cutting down more trees. And we need more stone as well. If we're ever going to get a chicken coop. Upgraded watering can would be useful, but we'll... Burn that bridge when we come to it. See, this is, it's honestly, this is so soothing to me. No, no social, no brain, no make nice, only farm. It's just good, you know? Just fucking... The scarecrow gets it. I have to pretend. Everyone's like, hey, welcome. Beep, 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 beep. Bring me a daffodil. Where are my pants? Would you like to marry me? None of that shit. Just me, an army of mayonnaise machines. And a pig that finds me truffles to turn into truffle oil that the mayor comes and takes from my property in the dead of night. <laughs> yeah, 
It's nine in the morning and I'm halfway exhausted. Great. It's going to be an early depression nap for us in Stardew today. Nice which says, not even in the dead of night, Johnny, your character is going to bed at lunchtime. Most of the time. Uh, well, I assume during the day, Lewis is just out there yelling at children for enjoying a television. Rather than working in the community centre. Let's refill the watering can for tomorrow while we're at it. Homeless Banshee says, I like the fact playing is a complete misanthrope. Probably means never getting to know the depressed misanth misanthrope NPC. Kindred spirits leaving... The Leaving each other the hell alone, lol. That's bliss. I support you, but I support you from my corner of this place where I am miserable like you. Perfect. This is how you fucking do mental health advocacy. You go online and you play a video game while being mentally ill. It's great. Fucking... Some of my top work. <laughs> Get in the ground. Yeah, little seed bastard. Right. Bang. 11 a.m. We're done for the day. Uh, Go to bed! Oh, wait. I'll sell two vegetables, will I? Probably wise. I don't know why the mayor's going to let himself into my house, assuming I've died. Rat problem. Something going on at the community center. Investigate the community center. Shan't. One eye garden gnome says, or oh, forage the beach for more monies. Eh. No. <laughs> Shan't. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, I will. Axe proficiency. New cooking recipe. Survival burger. It's a burger with a gun in it. <laughs> Great, 70 gold. Day out of spring, year one. We're getting through them. Can't say we're not. A oogle. Ah, oh, yes, we don't even need to fucking. Don't even need to water anything today. Uh, A oogleseth? Oogleseth? I'm so sorry, I'm butchering your name, I'm quite sure. Has done a super sticker, uh, and it's of. A hippo who's wearing a baseball cap and then they turn the baseball cap backwards and go Urgh! in a very swift movement that's pretty cool I might try doing that hi farmer Johnny I'm Robin I'll sell you things got it buy my snips mayor you bastard right today we're swinging an axe at a tree we're also going to hack up some rocks. I'm not going to buy any more seeds until we got more money. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to the super sticker of the, the rad hippo. I feel like I've earned a, a new... I've learned a new cool mannerism. Cheerful Spider has done a super chat saying, Bwa ha ha ha, meeting I was completely unprepared for, cancelled at the last second. Euphoria. Happy Thursday, Johnny. That is delightful. I hope, just, yeah, I hope you're absolutely fucking basking in that one. What a, what a joy. Yes, mixed seeds. Um, just, you gotta, you gotta love that. I love a cancelled meeting. To be honest, I love a cancelled most, almost anything. As a, as an introvert with chronic anxiety, the endorphin rush I get. Oh look, free vegetable I can sell. The endorphin rush I get from someone cancelling on me. Oh, it's incredible. What is in my way? Get out of my way. Well, oh, hang on a minute. My pockets are full. Maybe I should buy that rucksack. 
Mithril says, don't like cancelled public transport, though. Touche. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Plant that seed there. What is it? No one knows. Maple seed. Yeah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff. Cheerful Spider's done a super chat, another super chat saying we should all take more time to enjoy not doing things. I know, right? Oh, hello. You'll yeah, sell that flower. Dandelion. Once heard a Russian lady pronounce dandelion as dandelion, and I, I think of it every time I see the word dandelion now. I really like it as a pronunciation. A geode! Well, now we have to go meet someone. Yeah, the local blacksmith. All right. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We'll break some more rocks until we get tired, and then we'll go see. Yeah, I got another geode. We'll go pay him a small amount of money to crack open the geodes. We'll find out what we need to upgrade the fucking watering can and the axe. The blacksmith can process geodes for you and is also a cis man. I guess you could call him a geode dude. Yep. I'm being booed. Your pickaxe isn't strong enough to break. Your pickaxe isn't strong enough to kiss my ass. I deserve those boos. Fair enough, everyone. And I meant B O O S. Tegan Evans says you don't know he's cis. You're absolutely right. I don't. Sorry. Yeah. Don't know why I said that. You're 100% correct. Let's go see him. Not to interrogate him, to crack open the geodes. So let's also sell this leak and that dan dandelion. Ah, the rain's nice, isn't it? How's the audio? Do you want it up a bit, or is it okay? Con from the Ford says, I'm sat here working, making popping and pipping noises every time the game makes them. They're really satisfying to do. Audio's good. All right, thank you. Anna Roost? Ooh, ooh, ro roost. I fucked that probably, didn't I? That's the library, which means... Ooh, a mushroom. Oh, no, it's outside the bounds. Which means he must be... There he is. Let me guess. He's closed on Mondays. Oh, no. Zazzy Fire is on Super Chat saying, Sending positive vibes to you and the Skelly community after a tough week at work. I'm heading back to VOD Squad now. Take care, Zazzy, Zazzy Fire. I'm very sorry you've had a rough week. Um, same, frankly. And I think a lot of people um, at the minute in the Skelly Pearl community are having a rough one. So, um, yeah. Positive vibes also to you. And I hope you are, um, yeah, well, I see you in Pod Squad. Hello, how is the future? I hope it's nice. Let's see, upgrade tools. Oh, it's just money. Oh, no, requires things. Yeah, copper axe, five copper bar. Uh, I'll get around to that some, some others. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's swing a scythe at him. Process geodes, please. 25 gold per geode, sure. What did I get? Ah, oh, it's for the museum. Gunther, yeah. Bit of, bit of clay. More shit for the museum. Okay, we'll go to the museum because I think you get rewards. Is this the museum? Why is he dressed like he's in the US Civil War? 
Ma, ma, ma. Skip. Donate to museum. Done. Can I have something now, please? Is this how I get rewards? There's a book missing here. No one cares about your missing book. Fuck off. That's right, you get the rewards here. There we go, good. Bye, Gunter. And I'll have that for my own my own personal gain. It's half past five, so I reckon we should take a five to seven minute break. Um Let's have a look at this. Help wanted. Fifteen copper ores. No. Um, yeah, we should take a five to seven minute break because um, I could do with some water, to be honest. My throat's getting a little bit scratchy because I forgot to get any water. And, um, you know, what, what about you? When was the last time you stood up and had a really good stretch? Are you uh, too warm? Are you too cold? Do you need a snack? Are you thirsty? Um, do what you need to do in the next five to seven minutes and then we'll come back. Um, and, uh,. Play some more Stardew Valley in a weird way. So yeah, um, five seven minutes. If you're not going anywhere, here's some smooth jazz. Be right back.
Hi everyone, sorry that took a while, I was making a cup of tea and it took a while for the kettle to boil. You're watching a depressed person play Stardew Valley like a dick. <laughs> uh, what did I miss? Uh, oh bloody hell, that's a huge super chat. Fuck! Christ alive. Um, uh, right, I've got a super chat from Laura Bonus saying, Bonus, sorry. Saying watching you play makes me wonder why Aoife was so terrifying back when you and Ian spent all your money on a backpack instead of uh, co-op. Um, it, we just, there were rules. Aoife, Aoife was like, don't fuck this up. And we did. You know? And Aoife is not, you should not, you just don't piss Aoife off. Just don't do it. You know? She's the most wonderful friend and the, like the fairest person in the fucking world. As long as you don't piss her off. And if you piss her off, the worst part is it's always because you've deserved it. <laughs> That's the worst thing. She she's always she always comes correct. Anyway, Nicholas Grammer has done an absolutely whopping great super chat. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Like that's um, genuinely unbelievable, um, and I really, really, truly appreciate it. I don't quite know what to say. Um, but Nicholas says, "Hey, you all glad to be able to catch a life for once. Got some highs and lows today. Graduating from flight medic school this evening." But my car broke down on the way home this morning from my shift on the ambulance, lol. This stream is nice and so are we all. Well, congratulations on uh, graduating from flight medic school this evening, Nicholas. That sounds absolutely wonderful. And um, yeah, like I know you've put in a shitload of work into that and it is not easy to do. So congrats. I'm sorry about the car. I hope it, um, I hope it is easily solved and inexpensively solved. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, and yeah, lots of love, and thank you again for an absolutely whacking great super chat. Um, it's genuinely humbling. Um, I appreciate it very much. Um, what was I doing in Stardew Valley? I've planted th it's um, it's three thirty p.m. I'm almost out of energy. Was there something I was planning on doing apart from going to bed? I don't think so. I think I was just going to go to bed. Go to bed. Yeah, let's just go to bed. Okay. 
Oh, I want to swing a scythe very carefully. And there we go. Try and clear up that grass without taking out the crops. <laughs> Nicholas Grammer says, I just drive a Mercedes. It will not be inexpensive, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, Nicholas. Right. Let's go to bed. Oh, oh let's... Living off the land. Teach me a thing. Okay. Weather report. Uh, tomorrow's going to be sunny. If I don't care about the fortune teller. Okay, great. Be out of Done. Cool. Making some money, not lots of money. Snorpin Bass asks a very important question. Um, Christ alive. Uh, the question is, if the game's main source of income was manure from the livestock, would it be Star Doodoo -Doo Valley? Uh, yes, I can only assume. Ah, oh, shit. We got parsnips today. This is chaotic even for me in terms of um, planting, I have to say. Because it is lovely when you come out of the door in the morning and it's just like crops everywhere and you're like, oh yes, it's payday. But um, they're coming very piecemeal at the minute. But that's okay. Some of the beans should start producing soon. The others, no. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. It's quite nice to be able to just click on the square you want to water. Rather than point yourself directly at it, like on uh, the Switch, it's where, which is where I've played most of my Stardew Valley. Ah, good for brain. Let's see, we've got 672 monies. Alalora mm -hmm. has done their first ever super chat on their live stream. Um, Thank you very, very much. I'm very flattered that I would be the person that you would super chat for the very first time for, with, around, on to. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Alalora says, uh, work conference season means chill streams have the best timing to calm the stress. Thanks. Um, work conference season sounds like something that should be illegal, <laughs> frankly. Um, but I hope it's going okay. I hope the conferences are, in fact, going fantastically and that... Um, your feet aren't too tired from presumably being on them all day and just generally working really fucking hard because work conferences, hey. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very glad that these streams can um, take some of the edge off. And yes, there's more fucking veg for me to sell today. Let's just fucking grab them leaks. And thank you very much for the super chat. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. That's, yeah, that's about it, really. I really appreciate it. Rocks, rocks, rocks. We're digging up rocks. So that we can have a chicken coop. Ba -da -da -dum. Mix seeds. Let's go plant them. Why not, eh? Oh, I've got a couple of geodes. Let's go see <laughs> the geode dude. Yeah, it's not the, it's not the best joke, is it? Uh, 
Uh, you know what? We'll save the geodes and we'll go and when well, we've got a big job lot to do. How about that? How much stone have we got? 97 stone. Oh, no, we're selling the leeks. And that dandelion. Could somebody remind me how much wood and stone I need, please, for a chicken coop? I cannot be bothered to look it up or go see Robin. But at least I'm honest. Alalora says, Haha, we run our own annual conference, brackets, moves around the country every year, and fly out in two weeks. Wouldn't do it if I didn't love it, but I seriously needed a chill moment today. All right, well, I'm very, very glad to be helping. Jesus Christ, that tea is hotter than the sun. Emma Benton says, 300 wood, 100 stone. Hold, please, let me verify. Okay. 300 wood, 100 stone, 4,000 gold. Jesus Christ. All right, well, let's go see how much wood and stone we've got. Not enough wood. Not enough stone. But nearly. I reckon we can probably harvest enough today. Oh, Isabella says I'd get a silo first for the hay. True. Yeah, forgot about the silo. Bollocks. Well, I think what I'm going to do, because we've got little money really comparative. We've got 672 money. Please don't pass out on my farm, me. Um, we've got 672 money. Get out of bed! Uh, so I may as well buy more seeds. In fact, I'm going to go buy more seeds before I go to bed. Get out of bed! Just keep farming. Just keep raking in that farm cash. Oh, a dandelion. Ooh, a leak. So we may as well try and make as close to four grand as possible. Oh, dare we? Dare we? We dare. We got some clay. <laughs> Patrick Phelan said a super chat saying, I'm going to write a bunch of lyric poetry to be solely performed in the key of G. They will be my G odes. Kira Cox says that was much better than my pun. I agree. I agree. Good lord. Yeah, that's strong work. Oh, Christ, Lewis is here. Oh, God, just don't look at him. Just don't look at him. Just don't acknowledge him. All right, what are we going to do? What's going to give us a good yield? Six days. Can get multiples. Let's just go potato mad. Oh, great. Right, I've sold him two pine cones. Hello, he's Pierre. Buy my sap. Oh, I can't buy any more. Um. Oh, kale seeds. Mm. Jazz seeds. Oh, blue puffball flower. No one gives a shit. Right, 13 potato seeds. Blast as the second half of the workday fast approaches. Needs must and all. Thanks for a breather. You're more than welcome, Emma. It's nice to see you in chat. Um, I hope the second half of the workday goes fantastically well. And I will see you around, I am sure. Thomas Cooper has done a super chat saying, I'm still at work, but I figured I'd pop on and leave something. Also, did you hear about the TTRPG uh, game called Bones Deep? You play as a skeleton on the ocean floor. I have heard about this, but I had completely forgotten about it. Um, what a fucking fantastic thing. Is Grant Howitt involved in it? I don't think he is. Let's forage, shall we? But it's it's a very Grant-esque thing. Oh, I've got no fucking... I've got fucking nothing in my oh, inventory space. Why am I trying to forage now? Um, well, whatever that is is coming home with me. Fuck off, Clay. Get fucked, Clay. How do I fucking drop stuff again? Can you drop stuff? Oh, he's been it. There we go. Fuck off, Clay. Wild horse radish. You're probably going to sell for money. Um, I can picture the one of the illustrations from Bones Deep. Yeah, I should give that a go. I haven't played a TTRPG just for the sake of playing a TTRPG in so long. I did that thing where I monetized my hobbies. Uh, I should really go for it. Lucas says, go all the way south. All right, Lucas, for you I will. Yes. 
hey, Carrie, um, I see you there, and I'm sorry that you are having a rough time. Um, likewise, frankly. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on VOD Squad later on. Absolutely no worries about not wanting to watch stuff live. I totally get it. Um, I'm struggling with being able to watch things a lot at the minute. Um, pretty much the only thing I can watch at the minute is baseball, which is fucking weird. Don't know why that's the thing that's doing it for me. Now to the right, says Lucas. This way? This, this way is a cliff. Lucas, I've failed you. Oh, that way. Like there? All right. So I need to go down. I need to go down and then over? Oh, look. Oh, that's not a cliff. Is that, why did I think that was a cliff? It's not a fucking cliff. Lojo says, for a professional sport, baseball is strangely chill. I know, right? Okay. Okay. This is the forest, I take it. Nope, we've still got a ways to go. <gasps> More horseradish. Do you stack? You don't. Well, you, maybe you do, but you are an exceptional quality one. So, well, that's not going to be the right way, is it? Sprunions. Where are oh, there are the sprunions. There we go, look. Right, so that means I've been this fucking fiber. 7 p.m.? I've never been up so late. What happens at 7 p.m.? Inventory full. Kiss my ass. Uh, ah, fuck it, daffodil, you can go. Cattle Decapa says, how do you even watch baseball here in the UK? Um, you can get it through certain different um, subscription services, I think. There is a rumour, this is unsubstantiated, of course, but um, there's a rumour, if you sign up to MLB TV, uh, you can only watch that when you're in the States, which is a shame. But if, say, somebody had... Uh, uh, a US-based PlayStation Network account, you know, by, like, say, creating one and just giving it a US zip code. This is this is unsubstantiated, obviously. I don't really know whether or not this is true. I haven't tested it. But you can download the MLB TV app onto a PS5, or I guess a PS4 even, um, and that way, allegedly, allows you to just watch, uh, watch MLB TV as if you're in the States. Had no idea. It could be a lie. Could be a lie. We just don't, we just don't know, is the thing. Lojo says, VPN activate. That's also, uh, it's, it's feasible also. Goodness me, it's 8.50 p.m. This is an actual sen sensible bedtime. Oh, don't forget to sell things. Oh, I didn't even plant 13 potatoes. Oh, wait, I bought those today, didn't I? All right. Wait, what did I just put in? Oh, well, it's too late now. I didn't sell any seeds. No, I didn't. Okay. Brittany Hamilton says, have you got another team you're rooting for now the Mariners are out? Yeah, the Phillies. Go to sleep for the night. Yes, I will. Go bad! Level one mining. Pickaxe proficiency has increased. Good for me. Foraging brought in bank today. Up yours, farming. Ah, Brittany says that's my team. They're great fun. I especially liked it yesterday when... Oh, thank God it's raining. When, um... Your, your man, the, um... The very handsome one who looks furious all the time. Um, hit that three-run homer. And then just... Death stared the the guy who like the guy from um, the other team. Why is my oh the the Braves who'd like smack talked him the like the previous game and then hit another home run and was like, what do you think about me now? Just running around the bases, having put his team way ahead. 
and then just like giving him stink eye. Oh, it was glorious. I thought it was absolutely fucking magical. Bryce Harper, that's the one. Yeah, it was great. Ah, oh, Robin here. I can build you a well. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Robin? Buy my parsnips. Okay, so I need five more wood and three more stone if I want a coop. But I need also a... I need also... I also need a... Um... Oh, look, horse radishes. Uh, I also need a silo. So I need more stone than that. So I guess we're just mining today. What else do I like about the Phillies? Brand... Is it Brandon Marsh? No. Yeah. The guy who's absolutely enormous. Like, just really fucking tall. He looks like he should be swinging a battle axe. Rather than a baseball bat. Um, I think you're pitching pretty well. Obviously the batting is great. And um, just a really good, fun mascot. There aren't many mascots in Major League Baseball I like. Mariner's Moose? Don't like him. The fucking horse thing that the, I think Texas Rangers have? Absolutely not. The, the Chicago Cubs bear thing? Shouldn't have introduced it. They were a mascotless team. It's rubbish. Shouldn't have done it. But the Phillies mascot, unbridled chaos. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. Oh, I meant to chop down a tree, didn't I? Absolutely no short-term memory at the minute. It's really, really good fun. Can I plant there? Can I, plant? I can plant here? I can plant... Oh. I guess I... Yeah, I can plant there. All right. Brittany Hamilton says, The Fanatic and Gritty are our best mascots. I mean, the fact that Gritty and the Fanatic, the two best mascots in those two sports, both come from the same place. It's just absolutely tremendous. I've been to Philadelphia twice and I had a great time both times. Very happy to have adopted them as my second team. Matt James. This is Matt James' first ever Super Chat. Thank you very much, Matt James. Uh, Matt James says, Expressing solidarity during my own rough last 38 years. My wife recently said I watch as you and I are exactly the same. <laughs> Huge disservice to you. Hey, come on. None of that. Huge disservice to you, but I couldn't pick a better person to be liking to. Thank you for being you. Thank you very much, Matt James. That's very kind. Um, yeah, shout out, to, shout out to you for all of the spicy brain stuff. Who did I get likened to recently? Someone likened me to somebody, and I can't remember who it was, but I thought it was apt. What a great anecdote from me. Right, that is definitely enough wood to afford a coop. So now we can go back to hitting stone so we can get a silo. And at some point also, it's going to be new seed time. Well, today was new seed day for plant. But soon we will need buy new seed again for um, vegetables. <laughs> what money? <sighs> Zachary Smith says, "No, I won't feel bad if my Braves lose. I can cheer for the Phillies with Johnny." All right, there we go. That's the spirit. Um. Fucking words are just very diff difficult to say. Just hard. Just got to get them out of your mouth in a coherent order. All right. Flat Pack says, okay, so not technically their mascot, but have you seen the Milwaukee Brewers sausage race? No, I'm aware of the 
Of course he's closed on Wednesdays. Why would he be open on a Wednesday? Of course. Why didn't I check? It's Wednesday. No shop for me. Um, I'm aware of the brewer and his slide. And the female version of the brewer, who I think canonically is his mother. Uh, but I'm aware, I, I am unaware of the sausage race. I will have a good look at it. When can I start exploring the mine? I forget. Rob C says it's tough being the Dune people. Is mine and my girlfriend's default saying now when the world, when the words are being hard? <laughs> oh yeah. The board captain says fifth day. Oh, but it's like the tenth day. I keep going to bed. Any time, any day after day five for the mine. Under the mine. I mean, it's raining, so I should probably go do it now. But also, I'm like half down on energy. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? Why not? Hey. Eh? Why ever not? Let's go to the mine. Under the mine. This is the mine. It's a mine. Right, let's see if these old hands remember the way. I know that I go up when I'm mining. Jareth has done a super chat saying, having a rough day of it mental health wise, and I'm really vibing with this rainy, grumpy mood. Shout out to you, Jareth. And to, yeah, to anyone, it seems like. A lot of us having a shit time mentally at the moment. Um, I'm glad that the rainy, grumpy mood is is fitting. Hello, sir. We will never speak. Goodbye. Uh, glad it's helping. Well, glad it's it's a vibe. Oh, excuse me. Tyler Barnes says, I should really go to bed. It's 2 a.m. where I am, and I need to get up at 8. Thanks for the stream, Johnny. I hope you and everyone else feel better soon. See you all in the VOD. Go to bed, Tyler. Marlon. Here comes me. Peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Take this, you might need it. Haha, <laughs> fun reference. A rusty sword. In ages since someone gave me a rusty sword. I'm Marlin. I'm a guild man. Mam, 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 mam. Right. Fucking, let's mine. Oh, that's right. you just got to find the next one. Oh, I do like this game a lot. Well, at this rate, we'll have a silo in no time. There's the ladder. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Ah! Oh, you little slime bastards. Right. Ah, you were hiding the thing in your guts. Inventory full. Oh, yeah. I suppose it is. Fuck off, sap. Keep the stone, though. This is the wrong time to go mining. But we got a topaz now. Gunther will be happy. I want ore, goddammit. Eh, we're going to be exhausted anyway. Let's get some ore. Right. What are we going to bin off? You know what? Fuck the geode. I'm going to have a copper ore. Alright, that'll do. That'll do for uh, the mine for the... Ooh, a bit of ore. Surprise ore. Uh, actually, we're not exhausted yet. It's 5.40pm, though, so it's really getting past my bedtime. Oh, another ladder. 
Ambassador. Right. Fuck it. Let's go back. Leave the mine. Right. Back home. Sell the horseradish. Get a bed. Job fucking done. There's Robin's house, I think. Wizzy, Wizzy Tun says, quick question for chat. How was your day? How long you got, Wizzy? Put the sword back because we mine we mine on rainy days. We farm on not rainy days. There we go. Can I be asked to watch Tally? No. Go to bed. Plus one watering can proficiency. Hell yeah! New crafting recipe: mayonnaise machine. We're off, everybody. We're getting there. That's a decent chunk of change as well. Question is, do we put all that back into seeds? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Clint. What do you want? Yes. I've got ore. Yeah, okay. Are you going to teach me? Yeah, okay, great. Thank you, actually, for teaching me how to use a furnace. All right. Learn how to craft a furnace. Yeah. All right, please go away now. Okay. All right, bye. Please go away. Thank you. Uh, I lost my axe. I'm not accepting that quest. Go fuck yourself. Hey, it's payday. We got potatoes. We've got turnips. We've got more potatoes. And no, they're parsnips, not turnips. Shows how much I fucking know. We've got vegetables. Some of them are planted very badly. Well, not badly, just in a weird place. But hey, sometimes we're all in a weird place, you know? Uh, uh, uh. Fucking take that shit to Gunther, I guess. Well, it's not Wednesday, so at least we can buy some seeds. I would also like to build a furnace. How do we do that again? Furnace. Furnace, furnace. 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Well, we're not doing that anytime soon, though. Nice Switch says, time for me to scarf. I take care, Johnny and Skellies. Take care, Nice Switch. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will, I am sure, chat to you soon. Be well. You are great. Okay, let's go buy seeds. Let's plant those seeds. Then uh, we'll also go to the museum and then, 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 then. Well, fucking Pierre's ain't open yet. So I'm not going to go to Pierre's yet. I know all these perfect strangers. People I will never talk to. Going about their uh, sordid little lives, doing whatever it is they do. What's up, fucker? Done. Make 
to level five in the mines. In the mines! Crash the furnace. Robin's last axe. I did not accept that fucking quest, actually, video game. Right. Back we go. Let's go to Pierre's. Jupiter Mons says, I've returned. How many villagers have we needed to speak to so far? Great question. Introductions. We've met four people. We've avoided many more than that. Including whoever that was. Okay, what are we gonna get? I kind of potatoes, yeah, six days to mature. Let's just buy a shitload of parsnips again. Why not? Kale. Hmm. I do like kale. Let's just buy a shitload of kale. Bang, we've got no money now, but we've got 39 seeds. Can we make a scarecrow again? We should probably make a second scarecrow. 50 wood. 50 wood. One coal and 20 fiber. Alright, 50 wood. Manish Anand says, time to say goodnight. LSPs and Johnny, I will catch the rest on VOD. Go to bed! Thanks, Manish. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you for being cool in general. Right, time to plant more seeds in ways that will upset those with ordered minds. You know what? I'm just. Oh uh, no. That scarecrow's radius is like that, isn't it? I don't know. Kale. I should really hoe that one square, shouldn't I? There we go. Okay. Water this lot. Quickly build a scarecrow. Slap it down over here. Why not? Get 94 is on a super chat saying it's wildly but here we go it's wildly believed that all mines are haunted but the workers don't seem to mind a survey of miners of across the world confirms they are indeed prospectors prospectors pros 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 prospectors nearly 4 a.m so time to go to bed indeed cookie cat 94 go to bed thank you very much for a torturous super chat it was very good in fairness that's i'm not even not even mad about that one. I just, I liked it a lot. Scarecrow. Scare go there. Scare go sounds like snail. What the fuck? Which is French, French word. Escargot. Skip snail. This is a horrible pocket to have to water every day. Access between two beans and a scarecrow. So that's fun. Uh, Cattle de Kappa says, if you had a farm, Johnny, what would you grow? Um, 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 um. Oh, I don't know. Because, you know, like, I don't know what, we're talking, like, you know what, I'm not going to, I was about to say, because like, I don't know what would be good in order to keep, you know, my uh, um, a healthy turnover of profit so that I can continue to pay my bills, etc., um, let's throw capitalism out the fucking window for a bit, shall we? What would I grow? Corn. Corn's great. I like corn. Um, what else would I grow? I like cabbage a lot. Cabbage is really good. Corn, cabbage. Wheat. I don't, I don't know. 
I'd have a pig, that w and its job would just be to be a pig. That's all it would be. Um, Cattle to Kappa has done a... I've already read it. I've already read it. I literally just finished answering it. Thank you very much, Cattle to Kappa, for an interesting question that I answered very poorly. Oh, come on, have one more go. What would I have? I'd have a lot of ducks. Their job would be to uh, eat slugs from the vegetable uh, gardens, which would have cabbage, kale, uh, parsnips. Um, what else would I have? I'd, I'd plant a load of birch trees, so uh, in the spring we could make birch sap wine. That'd be nice. I'd probably try and have an orchard for cider. God, this is sounding quite idyllic, actually. And I'd have chickens for mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, um, a Uglaseth has done a third ever super chat on the live stream. That's worth celebrating, I think. Um, the super chat reads, Eating dinner feels less lonely when you're live streaming, so thanks. My dog is demanding a walk now, so I better get moving. Have a good evening. Take care. I hope the walk is an absolute delight, and you both enjoy it very, very much. Have a lovely rest of your day, however much is, uh, is left. Uh, Brian Mullard has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, just passing through as it is sleep time. Go to bed! Uh, we'll catch you on the VOD. Hope you're feeling better. Enjoy the chill vibes of Stardew. I usually mod the game like crazy. I've never thought about modding Stardew. I've never really mod games, to be honest with you. But, um... It, so it sounds like fun. I mean, like, I think people who mod games get a lot out of it, which is nice. <laughs> there you go. Blister blisteringly, um... Fucking uh, blisteringly strong commentary there. Wesley Harkup is in chat. Hey, Wes. Saying, looking at Indian runner ducks at the minute. Wait, are you legitimately thinking about them for your place? Or are you just having a, having a look? Because, I mean, I've been meaning to, to pay you a visit for literally years now. But if you're getting Indian runner ducks, I'm there. I am there. Um, Axea has done a super chat saying, been too long since I caught a live stream. In fairness to you, I haven't streamed in a couple of weeks. Um, awesome and wonderful to see you in the LSPs. Peace, love, and the crushed bones of your enemies. <laughs> what a sign-off. Thank you very much, Axea. It's very nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, what is, what is this stuff? This fucking weird be beeble bobble shit. Uh, what else are we doing today on in Stardew Valley? Wes says, yes. Fucking yes, Wes. Get those ducks. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, we should think about a silo. Let's go talk to the... I've got no money, but we may as well work out what a silo costs. That's Robin, isn't it? Um, let's go see Robin. I can't believe we're actually going to go have a conversation with someone. But on the way, we're going to get rid of this fucking bit of stone. There we go. Bismuth says, a runner ducks the bowling pin like ones. Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. I can tell you that from memory. I didn't know that's that they were called Indian runner ducks, but as soon as I heard Indian runner ducks, I was like, that's what those are. All right, Robin. Ooh, more horseradish, is it? Look at that guy. Let's talk to him. Never. Silo costs 100 G, 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 copper bar. God damn it. Thanks, Lucas. Fucking copper bars. Fuck. Well, we may as well talk to her anyway. Let's have a chat. Why not? We've come all this way. What's up, fucker? Construct farm buildings. Coop. Barn. Well. Silo. Five copper bars. Oh, it seems like someone's got to go mining. All right. We're going to pivot. Um, we're going to pivot the strategy. We fucking... We've planted a lot. So in the morning, we, we, we plant, then we mine. We, no, we don't plant. We water, then we mine. That's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do. Rachel Davies has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of the pear. Uh, we've mentioned the pear a few times today. It is, as you might expect, a pear to look. Larger on the bottom and smaller at the top. Unusually for a pear, 
It's got arms, legs, and a face, and it's wearing trainers, and it's got a sports headband on. Um, and it, well, this one in particular uh, has a hand mirror that it's kind of looking into and then going like, eee, because it likes what it sees. And um, the, the words, thanks for being you, are printed above it. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind. Um, thanks for being you, Rachel, and for the kind super sticker. Um, wow, my brain is fucked at the minute. Uh, short-term memory bad. Tomorrow, water the things and go mining. That's what we're going to do. We've still got a fair bit of energy left, but I don't give a shit. It's 5.50pm. Go to bed! Sean Patrick says, popping in between meetings to say, Hello! Hello, Sean. Excited to have a VOD of one of my favourite games for the end of the day. It may not be what you expect. Look at that. We've made fucking bank. Um, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, Sean. In fact, if you're watching this on VOD, hello, welcome back. Aggie has done a super chat saying, just watch the first minute of this video and wanted to remind you how much joy you bring to people. And I hope this goes to some way to, to reminding you of that. P.S. Why can't I donate around £10? I don't know, Aggie. That's... Maybe it's... Oh! <gasps> Fucking yes! Oh, thank God, a dog. Oh. Um, thank you, Aggie. That's really lovely. Um, that does mean a lot. At a time when things aren't exactly great! Um... Dog, dog, dog. See this dog here? Of course I see the dog here. Are you kidding? Uh, James Malcolmson has done, fucking hell, a whopping great super chat. Thank you very much. Um, that says, um, Happy to have you back. Upper pro of nothing. I recently discovered a planet named Johnny in No Man's Sky. I've claimed it for the LSPs and named the base New Skeletonia. Fucking amazing. Thank you, James. Thank you for, for getting us out there into the cosmos. Um, and for a genuinely a very generous super chat. That's very, very kind. Uh, it is nice to be back. Um, right. What a good dog. This farm could use a good... Can you imagine saying no? We're going to call the dog what I'm going to call the next dog I get. Um, Ripley. That's what I want to call my next dog. There she goes. We've thought about getting... Um, we we oh the egg festivals tomorrow, big fucking whoop! I'll be there. Don't you worry. Oh, I'm gathering my eggs as we speak. Um, did briefly consider getting a, a second dog, like soon, um, and then I sort of thought about it because realistically, Ripley's gonna be either a staff or uh, an English bull terrier which is another dog that's going to be around 16 kilos, which is what Watson is, and managing one of those under each arm down, say, some stairs or like an escalator or something, or on public transport to take them on holiday, etc., etc., is, I think, more than I can physically manage. So as much as I would love to have two dogs at the minute, we're going to wait. Um, Lillian the Pope says... Ripley, did Sigourney Weaver butt a dog not fit in the box? Well, the reason I called Sigourney Weaver butt a cat Sigourney Weaver butt a cat is because I was thinking about Ripley. Is there, are there even seeds back there? I don't know. I forgot how long it takes beans to produce. Fucking beans. Oh, beans. Um, but yeah, Ripley will... Well, Ripley will come along someday. Boomus dies as you can get strawberry seeds at the Egg Festival. I'm sure I can. I refuse to go. <laughs> oh, I'll wait for the fucking drop again on this song. It's so good. of Wes who's in chat. The last time I saw Wes we spanned the uh, Stardew Valley vinyl while drinking drinking whiskey with my partner. It was pretty fucking great. Just enthusing about the different tracks and tying one on. What could be better? Why can't I fuck it? There we go. Casilda says does Johnny avoid all festivals? Yes, Johnny does. If this, we're playing Depression Stardew Valley. We don't talk to people. We do not go to parties. We farm, we mine, we go to bed. <laughs> and 
we forage, but mostly we farm and we mine and we go to bed. Always terrifying having, um, leaving the bag in a cup of tea and taking the last sip because you worry, am I about to get slapped in the face with a wet tea bag? But I managed, it's all right. All right, so we're mining with less than half of a, um, of an energy bar, but that's fine. Yom says, I tragically have to leave for work again. Hope you have fun being a loner. Oh, I often do. Um, I hope work is okay, Yoms. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Joe Hummett says, they made a vinyl album in the soundtrack. That is cool. I wonder what the runtime is. I'm not sure, but it's a, t it's a, it's a double LP record. Um, it's also quite rare now. So it was made by, it was printed by Gamer Edition, who no longer print vi vanilla lils. Fuck off. Oh, that was easy. Bum. Right, let's harvest the good shit and head down. We get a reward if we get to level five. Scott Anderson says the whole village is talking about the strange hermit living in, on the abandoned farm. I've, to be honest with you, I feel like that's kind of the reputation I've got around my neighborhood slash in my building. Like when I go and walk the dog, it's just me and me and this staffy and we don't approach the other dogs because Watson doesn't give a shit about them and I'm wearing a denim jacket that literally says no fun on the back as a big patch so it fits you know Molly has done a super chat saying if you do decide to look into mods at some point I highly recommend the gender neutrality mod it's just a simple pronoun change feels so validating um, firstly thank you for the super chat Molly and secondly that's genuinely brilliant uh, because yeah I forgot that it is a gendered game and um it was, it, it did feel a bit weird having it be like, my grandson, yada, yada, yada. I should have just skipped the start, really. Because, let's face it, like I say, I don't really talk to people in Stardew Valley. So, they can't misgender you if you never talk to them, you know? That's just science. Mmm, bug guts. Fuck off, you little bastard. You're making me waste energy swinging a fucking blade at you. I just want the fucking copper ore. I need 20 of it. Well, now I've got enough. I can build a furnace. So that's great. Anyway, inventory full, is it? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll fucking fuck off the slime. No one gives a shit about monster slime. Molly is on a super chat. I've already read it. <laughs> uh, meow pow has done a super chat saying, signed off with stress at the minute, brackets our justice system as a dumpster fire. So pleased you're playing one of my favourite chill games. Hope you feel better soon. Uh, likewise, I'm sorry um, sorry that you're signed off, uh, off work at the minute, but I'm glad that you are being given the, you know, the chance to, to or oh, you're taking the, the time to sort of recover and, uh, oh, dare I? No, I've got to go back. Ah, uh, one more swing. There we go. Um, can I eat any of this shit? Yeah, for energy, yeah. Let's eat some fucking algae. How do we eat it? Eat! Oh, no, wait, hang on a minute. You, you... Eat. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, you eat that algae. I'm like Lisa Simpson in that episode of The Simpsons. There's enough slime for everyone! Um, right, now we sack it off. Uh... Yeah, um, um, hope you feel better soon, Meow Pal. Thank you for the super chat. Words, difficult, not easy. Aiden has done a super chat saying, Good morning, slash afternoon, slash evening. So happy to catch you again. Uh, the boyfriend and I are staying in bed today to watch brackets and maybe making pancakes later. Please don't die in the mines. Your potatoes need you. Also, hi, Tor. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, that's what a lovely, bloody super chat that is. Thank you very much. It's nice to be streaming. Um, I have successfully escaped the wounds. Um, my potatoes are safe, and I have enough copper ore to build a furnace, and now then I can start smelting it so I can start improving my tools. Things are looking up. Um, in fact... Dum, 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 da, dum, dum, and we've got a dog, which is just perfect, isn't it? 25 stone, all right. Uh. Will Smith crafting a furnace there. Uh, bug meat. Sure, why not? Oh, wait. We'll sell the... Uh, 
Oh, no, Gunter wants a fucking amethyst. And oh, fucking go see Gunter, I guess. Fucking asshole. <clears throat> Good. Right, furnace goes here. And then, um, no, don't tell me, I remember. Need coal and ore. Have some of that. Oh, it doesn't even, oh, it does need coal, but you, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 I rem sort of, rem I mostly remember. I mostly remember this. Good. Um, it's 3.50 p.m. in Stardew Valley. I've watered everything. I've been into the mines. I've got a fucking copper bar. Oh, I may as well carry on smelting. I've done some quests. I'll smelt some more stuff and then I'll get a bed. James Malcolmson has done another super chat saying Stardew, Stardew Johnny will redeem themselves in the eyes of the town when they save Gem and Scout at the end of the stream. No idea who those people are. Not going to do a damn thing for them, I'm afraid. But thank you for the faith in me. Jadith has done a super chat saying, I mentioned how you are responsible for a surprising amount of how prepared I was for my first tattoo. Is there a convenient way I can show it to you? Oh, you mean the tattoo? Um... Requires five ores. Um, I am on s social media. Obviously, Twitter's a fucking hellscape. But if you're on Twitter, you could tweet at me. Uh, I've got a Discord, but you need to be a patron to um, to get on the Discord. I'm also on Blue Sky or Instagram. Oh, I did not get the To Kill a Mockingbird reference. I'm sorry, I've not read it. Uh, sorry. Thank you for believing in me, though, as a much more literary person than apparently I am. It's 5 p.m. Go to bed! <laughs> KM Steer has done their first ever super chat on a live stream. Uh, and it reads, Excellent, I've been jonesing for a Stardew stream. This is a Stardew stream, all right. It's not your average, but it's a Stardew stream. Oh, great, I've got post. Whoopee. I've got... A single parsnip. Right. <clears throat> How many fucking bars was it for the silo? Can't remember. Um. But yes, thank you again for the super chat, KMs dear. What's up, Ripley? Good dog. Travelling potato says five, isn't it? All right. Well, in that case, we need more ore. So we'll go back down the mines again. What I could really do with is a rainy day, so I uh, don't expend any energy before I hit the mines. Build sprinklers, you might say. No, is my response. Stardew Valley Johnny does not build sprinklers. Stardew Valley Johnny does not talk to people. Stardew Valley Johnny waters everything by hand. I suppose I could upgrade the watering can, actually. Because then that would make me more efficient at this shit. It's saving me energy. Which means I can go out and get ore more easily. Interesting. Bobby Murray says, pet the dog, please. I shall, the second I'm done with my watering. Happy Bob says, I've nodded off twice. Thanks for brilliantly relaxing streams that help me sleep when needed. You're very welcome, Happy Bob. The Skelly Pal Nap Club is going strong. Uh, also, if you've missed out on uh, ordering, any of you uh, missed out on ordering the Skelly Pal Nap Club uh, apparel, um, the campaign's auto relaunched, which I didn't. Ah, oh, it's fucking egg day. I didn't realise um, was go, uh, it was going to happen. So I, I can't guarantee that I'll get enough orders to, to send them to print a second time. But you can, I hope, pre-order. Um, 
weird this bit in it. Um, um, you can pre-order them if you uh, would like. Sarah Burke has done a super chat saying, you relaxed me enough that I had a good nap and woke up refreshed. You are amazing and wonderful and I'm glad you're feeling better. Thanks, Johnny. You are very bloody welcome. I hope you had a lovely, lovely nap. I've had some really top naps this week. Um, cookies are very good for energy. I could take, I could, I was going to say take a cookie. Like a fucking drugs. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll do a cookie and then I'll get down the mines. No, don't sell the cookie, eat the cookie. Eat cookie, eat cookie. Bang, right. We call, we call those, call those fucking energy levels mining levels. Please don't forget to put water in Ripley's bowl. Thank you, Crinspec Bander. There we go, all right. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on up, it's mining time. <sighs> Got about 20 minutes left in the stream. I'm sorry that I haven't built the mayonnaise empire yet. Hey, Titan Uranus. How you doing? Um, let's face it, if my... Um, if uh, if morale doesn't improve, I will be streaming Stardew Valley again soon. Because... Oh, actually, I can't stream next week. I'm going away for a few days um, for a much-needed fucking R&R &R and um, a writing trip for three days. So that's why I can't stream on Monday. And then Thursday, I'm taking over a high hill tap room in uh, London's Black Horse Lane, which is near Black Horse Road, so uh, northeast, top of the top of the Victoria Line, to run a very special video game pub quiz. You can get tickets for that um, either by if you look at my Twitter or you just search Dice FM. My name. It should come up doing a very silly video game pub quiz on the 19th so I'm not streaming next week but um, I am doing things so there you go and then I'll be back um, after that <laughs> fuck off fuck off You know what, let's just go downstairs. Why are we even bothering? Um, but yes, I'll, I'll, I'll almost certainly stream Stardew again. Let's face facts. Skeleton Farm Farm deserves to grow. Please just give me a ladder. I can't be bothered to fight the slimes. Cardigan says, are you doing the community center or Joja? Neither, for I am depressed. <laughs> uh, basically, I'm playing Stardew Valley the, the best way I know how, which is to say, I don't do any community shit, I don't do any missions, I don't talk to anyone, I don't go to Joja Mart, but I also do not help the community center at all. I just farm and mine. Um, I play it like a complete misanthrope and it makes me very, very happy. I like that I pass all these people and I don't know who they are and we've never spoken and they're just like, there they go again. It's the cryptid who sometimes comes out of the abandoned farm to buy seeds. That's my whole existence in this game and I love it. I put hundreds of hours into it on the Switch. Hundreds? Certainly dozens. Um, it's just how I like to do it. Level 4A. Well, I'd like to get to level 5. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, is that a bomb? I've found a bomb in my inventory. That's nice. Well, I didn't find it in my inventory. I found a bomb and put it there if we want to be pedantic about it. But... Hmm. 
Felicia Salinas says, I used to live on Black Horse Road. Good times. There's a whole beer mile there now. There's like half a dozen breweries, maybe? It's uh, very impressive. Let's eat the slime. Sorry, the algae. And I just need to find the fucking ladder. That's all I need. Oh, I won't find it if I keep missing rocks. Oh, for fuck. Just let me... Mm. Is there anything else I can eat? Maybe I can eat that fucking cherry bomb or whatever. Well, okay. Let's go pick up the fucking quartz. And then get out of the mine. No level five for us today. Bullshit. Oh, don't collapse in the mine because you swung a pickaxe instead of taking the ladder. Um, Caitlin Southern has done a super chat saying, thanks for the grumpy company. Grumpany? Much needed while finishing embroidering an en NB heart, which now needs a home. Oh, what a lovely pro project. Um, that sounds very, very nice. Uh, uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Um, you're very welcome for the grumpany. It's all I can offer at the minute. Jay Doe says Johnny's character behaving like a former Night Vale resident. <laughs> oh, amazing. Thank you for the um, Instagram post to show me the tattoo, Jareth. Hey, Ripley. It's 5.20pm. That seems like a perfect time to get a bed. Or to smelt. And to smelt. Uh, 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 uh. Let's fucking lang the quartz in there as well. Excuse me. A little burp there. Gross. Uh, let's have a look at this tattoo. Refresh Instagram. Sometimes it takes a while for it to come through. I've tagged you in the description. Oh, oh that'll be why. Hang on. Oi! Oh, that's a spam bot. Huh. I think it will it will show up later, I assume. Um I promise you I will have a good look at that. Uh put the bars in there. Right, we've got five copper bars. That's enough for a silo, I believe. Do we go buy the silo? Oh, it's probably not in a fucking stone now, is it? Let's go you know what, we'll go have a look. Maybe they want wood and fibre and coal as well. Oh, it's 6.30pm. They're going to be closed, aren't they? Uh, Chris Rakowski has done a super chat saying, I feel like I need to make a plaque for Johnny that says the cryptic that occasionally emerges from the abandoned farm to buy seeds. It does sound good, doesn't it? It's got a ring to it. Slightly eerie ring. Um, let's just go to bed. Go to bed! I'm going to sleep for the night. Yes. Hundred, hundred gold, a hundred stone, ten clay, and five copper bars. Clay, thank you, Lucas. Again, my short-term memory completely shot right now. Completely shot. <laughs> Good morning, deep-voiced cockerel. Hooray, beans. That's really what we needed. Oh, beans. I want a parsnip. You know what? We'll go upgrade the fucking watering can. That's what we'll do today. Sell the beans. Marissa J says, unfortunately I have to go, but I'm glad you're back, Johnny. Bye, chat. Take care, Marissa. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, however much is left. Oi, 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 oi. Cost 2,000 to upgrade the watering can. Thank you, Kate K. Um, 
Mm, 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 mm. Let's just water the ship then. Not the ship, my produce. I can't see if anything's planted there, we'll do it anyway. I must have I picked a fucking vegetable there earlier, there's nothing planted there. Think about doing an a cappella. Um, cover of the Stardew Valley album. I think it'd do really well, actually. I finally unleashed the karaoke joke I've been meaning to do for several months now. Um, last week, a friend was leaving his job, and uh, to celebrate him, there was karaoke. And uh, I didn't even plan, I didn't even set it up, I didn't plan to do it, but somebody queued up all the small things uh, by Blink-182, and... Um, they were like, oh, who's going to sing this one? And someone was like, I'll do it. And then they didn't do it. And they put the mic down right in front of me. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. If you upgrade today, your crops will have two days without water. I forgot about the, forgot about the fucking um, upgrade delay thing. Bollocks. Um, but, yeah, I sang all the small things. And all I did was um, sing the first line of uh, the whole verse. Uh, oh, the... Small things, all the small things, all the small things. Some people loved it, some people didn't love it. I, I very much enjoyed it because I'm Santhropy. Um, I was going to take some fucking quartz and some amethyst to the museum, shall we? Let's have a look at the weather forecast. If it's raining tomorrow, I might chance it. No, I haven't got the money. Doesn't matter. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Let's water my house. Why not? <laughs> Fuck's sake. We'll go to the museum. Oh, we should just buy more seeds. We should do more forage. We should do more lots of things. Dave Plays Destiny has done a super chat saying, Is karaoke Gary Oak's sister? Exactly, yeah. That's the one. Dave's, Dave plays Destiny says, I'll leave now. <laughs> All right, Dave. You can stay. Good old Gary Oak. Good old Professor. What's my grandson's name again? Go on, fess up then. What did you call what did you call him? What did you call your rival? In um Pokemon. <laughs> That's the word. New reward. Get in. I don't care about Robin's lost fucking axe. I don't care about either. I don't rat problems. Well, how do I fuck it? Where do I get the rewards? Give me the reward. I'll water your whole fucking music. Oh, collect rewards. There we go. Cauliflower seeds. Nice. Tour War says Gary. Yeah, I think I called mine Gary. Bolosaurus says my rival is always cabbage. Hmm. Oh, fuck. It's the mayor. Just don't, just don't look at him. Next Master says called him, but yes, ahead of the curve. Very nice. Bum, ba, dum. Bum. Da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Benton says, lol, you're so aggressive to everyone, I love it. It's just how I like to play Stardew. Is there anything I can forage from over here? No, yes. All right. Looks like we eat tonight. And by eat, I mean looks like we're selling something to the mayor when he creeps around my property. 
after dark tonight. Emma Benton says, I can't bring myself to be mean to anyone. I know they're just pixels, but I feel bad. Well, you're a better person than I am, Emma. Hey, Ripley. Come here, go. Yeah, good dog. Oh, I got some clay. One step closer to that silo, aren't we? James Malcolmson says, Johnny's farm should slowly accumulate soccer balls from children who are too scared to retrieve them. Absolutely. Actually, I think I would return them, but I would not take care to kick them into the same garden. I would just hoof them somewhere else. I would probably hoof them further over, to be honest with you. Which they would take as a kindness, I assume. I love you, small pond. You make it very convenient for me not to buy a well. Right, well, we can't afford the fucking uh, thing, so it's not worth checking the weather. Go bed! Okay. <laughs> so close to being able to afford the fucking upgrade. You're not ready, but these fucking parsnips are, aren't they? Hey, fucking parsnips, mate. I suppose I could go sell these directly to fucking Pierre, but also, no. I'll have to talk to him. Right, it's probably going to be the last in-game day we do on the stream. And I will totter off. Um, just going to do a little bit of watering. There's my watering can. Joe Humbert says, would Johnny have a get off my lawn sign? No, I would not have a lawn. They are too much effort for something that's functionally fucking useless. I hate them. Um, the last place I lived in had a garden and like we had to mow the lawn as part of the tenancy agreement and it just drove me fucking nuts because it was a shit, it was a shit lawn, it was a shit garden. Our landlady was a prick and um, She'd never been to the house before she bought it, I'm pretty certain. And she turned up to inspect it one time and was like, oh, the garden's not very nice. And sort of placed that at my feet. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Just fuck you. I'm not a gardener. I'm paying you so that I can live here. If you want a fucking gardener, hire a gardener. Anyway. Gosh, she was a right prick. Oh. What was ready? Well, I got a parsnip. That's good. Oh, parsnips are ready. More parsnips. Parsnip day. Parsnip day. Oh, no, I missed the egg festival. Oh, no. That's bad. <laughs> Hello, dear. No, no, no. Yes, I know summer will kill all my crops. That's fine. Dum dum da da dum 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 da 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 dum 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 da dum 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 da dum 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 dum. Right. What was I gonna do? Was I gonna go straight to bed? How much clay have I got? Not much. Not enough. Not enough. Just not enough. Dum. Dum dum da dum 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 
Oops, no, not that. A fucking ore. Thank you, Thunder Cookie, for reminding me to water the dog's bowl. Mm, 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 I'm going to wrap this up now, I think, uh, because uh, I need to. Uh, it's it's end of stream time. It's 7 p.m. here in here in London. So uh, that'll about do it, I reckon. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this very fucking... Go to bed! This very fucking weird stream. Um, sorry for being out of sorts, but I am. Um, and it's, you know, it was this or nothing. So... Um, Oh, well, let's check the final count of how many people we talked to. I think it's still just four. Um, anyway, yeah, I hope, hope everyone had fun. Uh, I will catch you soon. I'm pressing key is happening on Saturday. I'm not streaming next week because of various work things. Uh, the 19th, Thursdays, so that's in a week's time, video game pub quiz at High Hill Tap Room in London's East 17 postcode. Um... And then I'll be able to stream more regularly after that, uh, I assume. Uh, let's see, how many people have I met? Journal. Introductions. Five. Five people. Not bad. Not a bad batting average. So, um, yeah, lots of love, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you very soon. Uh, have a lovely rest of your day. How much is left? Be kind to yourselves. And, um, well, that's it. Goodbye! Get a bed!